Today I'm taking you down to Brazil to one of my favorite cities on the planet, Rio de Janeiro, a city of contrast, mountains, rainforest, Christ the Redeemer, beautiful beaches and of course gorgeous people. It was founded in the year 1565 by the Portuguese and its most famous attractions include Copacabana Beach, Sugarloaf Mountain and of course Christ the Redeemer. It is also a foodie paradise and it offers everything from authentic Brazilian barbecue to seafood to fresh acai. I spent 72 hours exploring Rio de Janeiro with my friends Rio for Fun and Rio for Food. Now with that said, let's dive into Rio, Rio, Rio. I'm here with my boy Guile from Rio for Fun, Rio for Food and today we are going up to Christ the Redeemer, a new seven wonder of the world. I am so excited. I've been to four so far. It's going to be my fifth one. It looks incredible. And yeah, we just arrived in Rio at 8 in the morning and we're going straight up there because the weather is perfect. That's one thing that you have to do. You have to go straight there as soon as possible if the weather is good. You don't want to you know, miss it in case there's bad weather. There's six ways to get up there. You can go by train, cycling, hiking, what else? Climbing. Climbing, uh, train, and van, by van. And by van. Yes, uh, the most traditional way to reach the top is by train, but today we're going by car and then take the official van from the attraction that leads us from the bottom to the mount from the mountain to the top of the hill. Uh, man, it's a beautiful day. Let's take advantage of that. So when we get there, we're gonna go in, we're going straight to eat a sandwich yeah grilled sandwich with coffee and mango juice and very important david uh always make sure man you arrive early to avoid queue right like to avoid line because always get very crowded so it opens like especially at eight on in the, the weekends right? eight in the morning yeah so over the eight in the morning it was built in 1931 exactly. this is exciting i can't wait let's go see christ the redeemer one of the new seven wonders of the world um, we are now in the road called Pineda's Road that goes to the top of the mountain, Corcovado Mountain. Uh, one of the cool things about coming here by car is that you drive through the forest, which is the Tijuca Forest, and it's the third largest uh, urban rainforest in the world. So two of the largest urban rainforests in the world are located in Rio. And so cool, man, a lot of uh, snakes, raccoon, Scroll, toucans, sloth, monkeys, everything. waterfalls, everything. Jackfruit, some more of the fruits, banana. It's nice. A jungle in the city. This is amazing. And right here to the right, when it opens up, you can see the city. The views are incredible. But the views from the top, I can't even explain how beautiful it looks on images. I just can't wait to get there. I'm so hungry. We got here at 8 in the morning and we haven't eaten breakfast. Oh, fome. Estou com fome também. Let's go eat. Okay, guys, we made it to the top where you have to get a van to make it all the way up to the Christ. Okay, so this is the entrance right here. You have to go to security, get your tickets, and you go up. Oh my god. Is that a monkey? <laughs> what the heck was that? I think a monkey just dropped that. <laughs> okay. Obrigado. Nada. Super, super nice, no? Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. Look at this view. It's just beautiful. So this is just a small fraction of the city right there. Over here we have the vans. Get a ticket office. You can come here, get a snack. It's like a small bakery. You have some fried stuff, some juice and some waters. Let's get the tickets. Let's go. Saúde. 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 Good. I like it. We need coffee to wake up. Mm. Oh, so good. So each one of these was one US dollar. Yeah. Not bad. It's damn worth it because I am asleep. <laughs> Alright guys, so we bought our tickets. It was uh, 105 for two people. He has a guide license, so he doesn't pay. 105 for two people, that's roughly like $21. Alright, let's go up. Alright, let's get in here. The van. So the way it works is you buy your ticket at the reception. Then you go through security, give them your ticket, then you get in line. After you get in line, you take a picture if you want to. If not, you keep going, and you walk through another like area, big line, and finally you get into the van. The vans are coming, you know, every like two or three minutes, so it's really really quick. And here we go. Exciting. Bom dia. Bom dia. Another entry. 
All right, so how do we get up there? Uh, steps or elevator. I have uh, like two interesting things to share with you guys. One, Jim Carrey got stuck in the elevator. So he was stuck like in the elevator for like, I don't know, a couple minutes. Guess what he did? What Just it? started making jokes, right? <laughs> and then another time during the, the Olympics, all the NBA players were here because they came to play for the American team. And man, no one recognized them, right? Because usually tourists don't know, they don't follow NBA. One kid recognized one of the players, which was Kevin Durant. He was just calling Kevin Durant, Kevin Durant. They had to leave right away because oh, man. people start like annoying, asking for autographs and pictures, you know, and they had to leave. So these are the two cool things that every time I come here, I remember. And look at this view, man, amazing. So the view is stunning and you have to keep making your way up. And right here we have a shop and in this shop, they have Christ the Redeemer that they made themselves, right? They did this all by themselves with the, the original stone. Well, take a look. Heavy. Yeah, same material that they use uh, to build the statue, which is soapstone and cement. And here, the pedestal marble. So it's uh, eight meters tall, the pedestal, with 30 meters, the statue. This is the souvenir you have to buy when you come to Rio. I'm gonna buy it. It's 210, roughly $42. It's great though, I love it. Wow, okay. Hey, tell them when I come back, I take it. Obrigado, obrigado. Nada, Só não derruba. Tá, pode ser que vai Wow, this is awesome. Belo. Belo, belo. Belo, Lindo, lindo. Lindo, lindo. Si, me excusa, me excusa. When you make your way up, take the steps, come to the shop, buy yourself a Christ the Redeemer made from that stone. It's a must, it's a must. They also have other stuff. They have t-shirts, they have hats, they have, you know, tons of souvenirs, but that's the souvenir you need to get. All right, let's continue. Let's go up. I need to see the Christ. And right there it is, right there. Uh, here's like a, the most traditional restaurant inside the tourist attraction. Believe me or not, people think just because you're in a tourist attraction, this could be like a tourist trap. No good food, but you can get decent food. So let's have some breakfast. Look at this view. Copacabana Beach. Sugar Loaf is on the other side, we can see from here. Okay, Sugar Loaf is on the other side? Yeah. Cool. It's crazy how high we are. Yeah. No? 710 meters, it's about uh, 2200 feet above the sea level. Uh, here usually we order like mango juice or any type of juice, but because of the, this time, at the moment, they're not offering any juice. Uh, so here it's good to have a, like a grilled cheese sandwich as we order just now for us, and coffee. But as you are in Rio, you must have a local beer called Praia. Praia. Yeah, Praia, and which is delicious. Has some, I think, Indian um, spices. And Praia means beach, right? Yeah, but it's Praia. different spelling. Different spelling. Okay. Yeah, but it means cool. Beach. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, I like this open air. Got the Christ right there. Incredible views. We're gonna have a beer and some grilled cheese. Woo! It's smoking hot. It's only like 9.30 in the morning and I'm sweating like crazy. <laughs> and this is it, Praia beer. So this is a wheat beer, right? Wheat beer, and it has Indian spices. 5.3% alcohol and it's Praia Brasil. So it's Praia with a Y, not an I, right? Let's try it. Oh, it's amazing. Mm. Super light, not too cloudy. 5.3% alcohol, so it's the lighter side of alcohol, right? But this is perfect for this weather. Really, really hot and real right now. You know, it's summer. You need something to refresh yourself before you go hiking up to the Christ. And wow, dude. Refreshing. This, refreshing, like the delicious. Okay. So this is a special grilled cheese, huh? Yes. Ooh. Yellow, yellow cheese. Yellow cheese. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Cheers. Mm-hmm. You can tell it's different. Mm. So gooey, it's like oozing mm -hmm. out. Just like yellow cheese, uh, really good. I love plancha. Mm -hmm. I love when they press it, it's the mm -hmm. best. I haven't had grilled cheese in a long time. Yes. It's been like two years since I made my daughter grilled cheese, so. Yeah, and good tip, man. You have to ask to bring like well done like we did. Yeah. Cause like more toasted, right? Yeah, better like this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I need this. We waited so long to eat. We woke up at three in the morning, Flew to Rio, and here we are. Yes. Mm. Delicious. If you want to, you can also do a helicopter tour. We're gonna try to do it if we have time. And right there it is, look at that. Wow, beautiful helicopter. Nice, man, it's like a two-door helicopter. Saúde. Saúde. Mm -hmm. 
so good. Mm. This grilled cheese is satisfying all my needs right now. And with this view, and with that view, I mean, it can't get better. You have a seven one of the world right above us. You have this incredible city below us. Priceless. I'll pay $50 for the sandwich. <laughs> After a beer, grilled cheese, now it's time to go up to see the Christ the Redeemer. Woo! Scorching hot. Get here early. It opens at eight. I suggest getting here right when it opens. You would definitely feel better in the end. Train actually opens at 7.40. 7.40. 7.40. Let's take the elevator uh, escalator. So over here to the left, we have another part of the city. Like I said before, a stadium. The international airport's over here. Huge bridge. Look where I am. It's gorgeous. This rainforest mountain. And this is Christ the Redeemer. And here we are at Christ the Redeemer. 30 meters in height. It's actually 38 with a pedestal, right? Yeah, pe pedestal, eight. The statue itself, 30 meters. All made by soapstone and cement and the pedestal, uh, granite and marble. And it's 28 meters in width from our, from finger to finger? Exactly. And you were saying one of the fingers is gone because of... N not gone, but a little bit destroyed by the lightning. So okay. as you can see, uh, above both arms, you can see the lightning rod. But even with the lightning rod, uh, a couple times a year, the statue got uh, the, destroyed by the lightning. Wow. Yeah, because it's so high, right? We're like 710 meters, I would say approximately like 2,200 uh, feet above the sea level. And right now, it's not so packed. Usually, no. super high season, you can't even walk yeah. here. You're fighting for a photo. And this is like a, a peak time not right now. It's almost noon, right? And uh, yeah, man, people fight to, to dispute like a spot to take pictures. I've seen a lot of, you know, foreigners from all different countries just arguing, you know? Wow. Like, like pushing each other and from here man you can have a like kind of 360 degree view of the city and the city uh, divided by zones so here on our right hand side is a sub zone it's the most privileged area well known as like the Jew of uh, Rio like the top six upscale neighborhood so west north east south exactly so I believe this is one of like the most beautiful views of the city because you have a like kind of 360 degree view and it's amazing, man. Every time I come here, it's different, you know? The clouds, the sky, sometimes it's more blue, sometimes it's raining, cloudy. It's, every time is a different experience. Even myself, I have been like, I don't know, 4,000 times for the past 20 years. Uh, man, I'm always, I don't know, I get emotion, you know? I don't know, you feel like a really good energy about this place, right? Super energy, yeah, I mean, very unique, super energetic. The only thing is, you gotta be, Pushing your way to get a folder, a photo, well, right? But that's the thing, man. If you arrive like at 7:40, actually, you take the train at 7:40, get here by 8, just yourself. That's awesome. Yeah. So come here at 7:40 in the morning, and exactly. you'll be here alone. alone. Way better than now. Right now, it's super hot. I'm yeah. like drenched. And look, this is a good tip by a local guide. Uh, usually, right after uh, Easter, which is uh, middle of uh, March or beginning of uh, April. The best time to come to Rio, it's off season, not that many people, just right after Easter. Just right after Easter. Avoid New Year's Eve, Carnival, and Easter, which is our like the busy, busiest time. It's getting really, really crowded right now. It's almost 12. The place is packed. It's hard to get a photo. We're trying to get a photo overlooking the north part of the city. Almost impossible. I mean, there's too many people fighting for a spot, and you always have somebody in your shot. I hate when people are in my shots. I hate it. But yeah, I mean, that's how it is. Get here really early, beat all these crowds. My man, amazing. What a morning. Unfortunately, the chapel, it's now open. I would love to show to you the chapel. There is a chapel in the back of the pedestal. Amazing, the must visit when you come to Brazil. If you come to Rio and you didn't go to Christ the Redeemer, you weren't here. It's a must. It's a must. We show you the experience, how you can do it, the cost to do it with the van. There's six different ways you can come up here. Yes. Obviously, we suggest the van is the fastest way and driving yourself is the, is the best way. You, you go with the driver. Hey, ciao. Obrigado. Hey, to the band, to the ball? Let's do it. Hungry, let's go eat. I'm starving, let's enter. Nova Capella. Nice, traditional bar. Traditional bar, like, man, very antique, right? Yeah. Yeah, the best lamb. Also, they have some uh, nice codfish croqueta. 
We call cod fish balls. Yeah, bacalao. And you have to have draft beer, man, because it's super hot today. And they have actually chop, which is small, right? You guys yeah, call it chop. small chop. Yeah, and chop. they have a dark one, a dark exactly. beer. Exactly. Yeah. I would suggest you have the dark one. This actually reminds me of like traditional bars in Portugal and exactly. in Spain. Spain. Very similar. I love the decor. Yes. Obviously, over 100 years old, 117 years to be exact. Yes. And over here, they have the lamb. Cordero. Bom dia, tudo bem? Tudo bom? Cordeiro, carne assada, cabrito, costelinha e leitão. Leitão? Leitão, yeah, that's leitão. Amazing. Oh man, that looks so good. This one is the one that's going in my mouth. Some beer, some food. This is awesome. Rio de Janeiro. Some codfish croqueta, some codfish balls. Bacalao, el mejor. Yes. El mejor. All right, my friends, we're in the kitchen. We're going to see how they make a few of these different dishes. Bacalao, lamb. Oh, look at this. Pretty awesome. I've never seen somebody make rice like that. So he's doing his spinach rice, then he added some more rice, and then he keeps flipping it, flipping it, flipping it. Woo! Look at this. Whoa! <laughs> David, one of the cool things about Rio, man, the majority of the people that work in the kitchen, they are from Nordeste, which is northeast of Brazil. Could be Paraíba State or Ceará State. These two states getting along together, man, what a match. That means they're cooking great food. Yeah. This guy with the rice is really impressive. I mean, he's just going nonstop with the rice. I mean, they just make one dish, it's not ours. We're having the same exact thing though. Uh, yeah, he's just going nonstop, adding more, more spinach, adding some more rice, flipping it over and over and over. Oh, it's like a walk, right? And over here, the bacalao's ready. He's adding some more lamb. All right, my friend, I'm gonna try some Bremen Black. I haven't tried their black beer, so it's a stout. It's basically a stout, and the way it works, right, is when they pour it, very similar to a gin, it has to settle. So it starts to flow down, it starts to get clearer, right? So right now, it's just like bubbling up uh, in terms of the head, head on top. Can anyone see that? Yeah, it's a thing. And then slowly it goes up, and boom, done. Please, though. Yes. Okay. Obrigado. Wow, that's good. Cremoso. Cremoso, yeah. So it's almost like a dark lager. What's the dark lager? Mm hmm. Ooh, it's good. It's, it's light. A little creamy on top. A little bit of espresso, como un poco de café. Yes. Like un like un poco. Un poco. Cremosidade. Yeah, it's more creamy. So I, I would say this is similar to a Guinness. Obviously, never going to be a Guinness, but very similar. Mm. I am so pumped. This food looks delicious. Look at this. We have lamb that has been fried. We have bacalao fritter, so cod fish fritters. We have, you said it's a broccoli. Broccoli rice. Broccoli, broccoli rice. rice. Broccoli with, paste. With, with uh, fried fry, uh, garlic. Fried garlic on top, on all these top. little bits right here. Yes. And then obviously some potatoes. Potatoes. Mm. All right. Let's start with the uh, cod fish balls. Right, my friend. Okay, cheers. You do not bite? Mm. Mm -hmm. Crunchy. Mm -hmm. Look. And lots of chunks. Olive oil. Mm. Olive oil, huh? I was thinking grabbing the Tabasco behind us. No, no. No? Usually Port in Portugal they do this. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, here, here we do olive oil. Wow. Yeah, we put a lot. Oh man, that looks good. And it's uh -huh. like the olive oil is sinking through. Mmm, much better. Mmm. This is so delicious. I've had a lot of bacalao fritters in my lifetime. I've been to Portugal, Spain to have it as well. It's so good. You know, it's a cold fish. It's yeah. a little different in taste, but for me, it's the best. In Portugal, they have like a hundred dishes yes. with bacalao, like cakes and stuff, right? They have also patanisca, which is more like uh, codfish, then they, they, they don't put potato, right? Mm -hmm. This one has a lot of uh, codfish. Yeah, a lot of codfish. Big chunks, uh -huh. obviously potatoes, like mushy, almost like mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. And then the outside, it's fried. It's delicious. I, I found a bone. Just be aware of that. Just don't just eat it straight. Yes, yes. And some, it's not cilantro, but maybe spring onions. Mm -hmm. Not spring onions, but some herbs. Mm -hmm. And right here, I have the Brahma Black. Brahma Black. I haven't tried it yet. I tried it, obviously, right now at the bar, but it's delicious beer. It's a little different. You know, obviously, similar to Guinness, that's what they're going for, a stout, light stout, but I'm pretty sure this is a black lager. Mm -hmm. They have that style. The lager, American black lagers, dark lagers, right? Right. It's so refreshing. Oh, uh. it's like dripping. <laughs> so how do we do with this? With this lamb? 
Oh, let's do it. Just uh, grab? Just grab. Yeah. yeah. Big chunks. Oh my gosh. Yes. Dude, huge. This is, look at this. Look at this massive piece of meat. And obviously they deep fried it. So it was already cooked and then they deep fried it. Yes. Actually, they, they roast for four hours and then they fried it. So they roast it for four hours and yeah, then they fried it. Yeah. Damn, that's gonna be so good. I can't wait for the rice too. The rice looks nice Lovely and uh, rice. yeah, it looks a little moist. It's not so so dry. Yes. And I've never seen what the guy was doing in the back, like flipping like that. Yeah. Very different. I mean, I've seen a lot of different risottos, paellas, and stuff being it, made. It, it seems that like he did like uh, I think it was a workshop in Bangkok. Oh, okay. Yoki, right? I think so. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Okay, here what we do. Okay. Right here. Always olive oil, lots of oil of oil. On everything? Yes. No, just here on the rice. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Mm. Delicious, huh? Mm. Love it. Broccoli rice. Oh, so good. So, oh. so good. Melt in your mouth. Mm. You it's roast for four hours and then they fry. Bacon. Mm -hmm. Delicious, huh? Wow. Mm. Pretty soft. Mm. Wow. So let me explain this. Basically, because the roast is so long, the inside, the flesh, falls apart immediately. The outside yes. is crunchy. Great contrast. Love the textures. Wow. It's in the best lamb in real. In real, yeah. I right, mean, absolutely. It's crazy. Oh. Some chili sauce. Let's do it. Always. Oh, on the lamb. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna try it with chili basically sauce. chilies. Yeah, it's chili sauce, but it's oil. With chilies. Yeah. With chilies. Beautiful. Oh. Oh. Nothing better. Not much better. Oh my god. <laughs> I like it. So mm -hmm. it's not crazy spice. It does sneak up on you though. Bring it now. Gives you a nice tingling sensation under the tongue. Let's pick up on jelly idea of the Mint jelly. Mint jelly. Mint jelly. Pregano. And it's for this? Mm-hmm. Yeah? We're gonna eat this with lamb. Yes. Mint jelly. Mint jelly. That's cool. It almost like jello, like straight jello. Yeah. Wow. I've never even seen this before. Yeah. Oh, hey the heat's catching up, huh? Yes. Let's see. My, mine is becoming like super crunchy, hard to cut. Here we go. <laughs> oh, whoa. Extremely minty. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's good, but I prefer the heat. And uh, you cut the flavor, I think. Mm -hmm. Some 100%. people like, to be honest, I don't like. I don't like mint at all, by the way. Mm -hmm. For me, I'd rather have chilies all day. Yeah. Just keep heat, adding the heat. Yes. Wow. You are right, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, I haven't tried any other lamb dishes in Rio my first day, but this one is so good. It's flavorful, nice heat, and it paired with the rice and the potatoes. It's phenomenal. Just the way they do, you know, they have their own style and they're unique, you know. Mm. Toy. Enamorado. Enamorado. Apaixonado. I mean, my, my favorite meat of all time mm -hmm. is lamb. Mine too, mine too. Lamb and goat. Yes. Absolutely, man. My favorite too. Delicious. Mm. Mm. I'm having this nice and like salty. Add this to it. Cut the taste. You know, pie cleanser. Delicious. Wow. Damn, this is this is their best beer. Yes. But I'm on get the black. It's better than the original. Mm -hmm. oh. oh. Unfortunately not a lot of places serve, serve it. it. Yeah. Guys, I can't get enough of these chilies. I know it's uh probably not good for my stomach, but why not? It's so good. If you don't like spice, something's wrong with you. <laughs> exactly. Oh. These are so good. Yes. And these are here, right? Mm hmm. Amazing, huh? Mm -hmm. It reminds me of the bird eye chili in India. Yeah. Very similar looking, 
that's spicier. That'll kill you, you know? Yeah. This one is just enough. It's everything you need, you know? In Portuguese, we call ma malagueta. 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 And then you pair this with the rice? Yes. What a combination. Such a good meal. 100 years old. I don't know if the recipe is 100 years old, but the restaurant is 100 years old. 117. 117, and this is what you have to eat here. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Mm. Look at this crunchiness. Mm -hmm. So the codfish, the bacalao fritters come four per serving. So obviously the three of us were sharing the fourth one. I added some delicious chili as you see the inside. Man, so much cod. So much. So much cod. Mm -hmm. oh, more. Mm -hmm. More heat. Mm -hmm. More heat all day. But the way to renew it hot is to add those little chilies. Oh god, it's the best. Delicious. The total price is 250 reais, which is roughly 50 US dollars. Not cheap, but at the same time, it's an experience and it's lamb. Lamb is always way more expensive. Always remember that? Uh, the codfish fritters were like $2 each. The beer was not even $3. So the lamb is what cost. But worth it. Amigo, obrigado. Obrigado. All right, guys, let's go see the aqueduct, the steps. Let's explore this beautiful city. So, what is this? Here's the arches. So, uh, it's an aqueduct. So, we used to have a river here called the Carioca River that used to pass here. That was around 1755. So, the river used to spread out into the ocean, right? It's like old town. What I like about this neighborhood, Lapa neighborhood, is like it's a Bohemian neighborhood, right? And uh, here's a great place for you to have a drink and why not have a shot of cachaça. Qual cachaça você tem? Awesome. Guys, this is crazy. It's like, I don't even know, 20 foot ceilings of just alcohol, non stop alcohol. So you have beer, cachaça, whiskey, todo, vodka. It's like everything, everything you could want. That's crazy. Yeah. I've never seen a store like this. It's so cool, man. It's unique. It's almost like 24 hours and people come here, drink. Enjoy, party, get happy hour, and man, uh, it's incredible, like the variety of uh, drinks they have, especially cachaça, right? Claudia, hey, Saudi, he's having the cheaper one, it's like one uh, real, this one's five real, so it's five times the cost, and there's a bug in my face right here. Oh, it's important stuff, this one's uh, very similar to con miele, no miel. Oh, Mel. Mel. When you're in Brazil, you gotta try with cachaça every day. I wouldn't say every day, but all day. Not every day, but when you're traveling and you're going to different cities, you're gonna come across different cachaças, unique ones. Like I said, that one is the one he had, is like the cheaper one, right? In this uh, small barrel. But the one I'm trying, it's good. Not my favorite. I've had better ones. This is very strong. Yeah. It just, it's like hitting you, like it burns, you right, know, like right, a little burning right, station. Right. I'm good with that. So here's the thing, this one called one real, the one you had was five. So it's a really cheap one, right? So all you have to do, first you, you set the cup here, mm -hmm. and then we insert the coin. What that's, an amazing idea. That's awesome. Wow. It looks crazy strong. Very strong, very strong. You know, I don't even want to try it. It's too strong. Yeah, we're going to give someone else. Yeah, uh, this neighborhood, it's like a, it's a little dodgy, right? Like, yeah. like you have these like nice restaurants, but then you have like this. It's like a abandoned building. It's crazy. Yes, I don't know some crazy movie that like it's kind of like ghost city, like abandoned. Yeah, it feels a little abandoned. A little bit. So guys, be very aware of this area. Yeah, don't just yeah. walk around without a local. But, but it's cool, man. It's Lapa. It's a Bohemian neighborhood. It's very tourist, you know. Mm -hmm. Just you have to be aware, right? Like when yeah. you walk around. Yeah, definitely keep yeah, a yeah, yeah. keep your phone in your pocket. Don't pull yeah. it out. And yeah, let's go to the steps. They're right here, right? Yeah. So we enter this street. On one side, you have murals. The other side, pure graffiti and some souvenir shops. And some tags. And some tags, exactly. Yeah, yeah graffiti, tags, murals yes. is more just real art, right? Yes, correct. I love this. Look at that, the Joker. It's actually meters uh, in Brazil. I'd say all over the road, it's considered an art. Yeah. So you're allowed. Tags, you're not allowed. Yeah, that's... To get, get, that, you, that, you can get caught. That's just putting, putting your name up for no yeah, reason. Yeah, it's crime. It's BS. And in front of us, we have the steps. 
Yes. Wow. Third most visit uh, tourist attraction in Rio. Uh, the history behind these steps, it was a Chilean artist around 1990. Uh, he started putting tiles from uh, the colors of Brazil, which is yellow, blue, and green. The, 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 the Brazil uh, flag and then red color because it was his favorite color and then after that became like a tourist attraction tourists start coming donating tires from all over the world I'm very proud that you're gonna see now two tires one from Hollywood and one from Hawaii that I gave to him uh, 12 years ago unfortunately he died uh, six years ago uh, but man amazing this place you have to come here Florida Snoop Dogg Pharrell film video clip Coca-Cola Kellogg Galaxy Corn Flakes, uh, Incredible Hook 2 with Edward Norton, many other artists. Here, man, if you want to try one of the Brazilian national drink, which is called Caipirinha, it's basically sugar cane liquor with fruit and sugar and ice. Once you get here at the Saladon Steps, you have to try this drink with this guy here. It's lovely. You haven't had the traditional one, right? Not yet. Via Caipirinha. Obrigado. And how much is it? Quanto? Still seeing five. Five. A dollar. How many? A dollar, huge, huge glass. Oh my god. Let's try this. So it reminds me of mojito. Yes. Very similar to mojito, no? Yes. Similar. Similar. But they don't put uh, mint, mint leaf, right? Yeah. It's mojito, yeah. Yeah. Mojito, mojito has Bacardi. Yeah, but uh, so it's a little different. This, but no, this but he, he was asking if it's stronger. I don't think it's stronger. Similar. Depends how much you put. Depends yeah. how much alcohol you put. Because this one, it, you put a lot. Yeah. Dip. Good. I mean, it's delicious, but it's strong as hell. Strong. This one's strong. Moito forte. See. Moito. Oh, wow. It's a strong drink. Le Woo! Lemonade cachaça. Lemonade cachaça? I'm joking. It's lime. <laughs> You're me, dude. All right, so we're gonna go over here? Yeah, let's, let's go. go. Let's go, let's go. Yes, I, I make, I make. You make that? With, with your name, with your name. Jose! That's amazing. Colombiano. Huh? Colombiano. Colombiano, Colombiano amigo. Mira, yo soy venezolano. Ah, mi hermano llegó. Este es la consulado colombiano de la República de Alapa. This guy is an artisan. He's making this. He's making his own wood. You can put your name in here if you want, but here, this is Rio de Janeiro. It gives you all the different, I guess, uh, all the major landmarks, right? Really nice. <laughs> These are all bathtubs, right? All bathtubs. These are the two ones I gave to him uh, 12 years ago. This one I bought at LAX airport in Los Angeles. This one at uh, Honolulu airport in Hawaii. And he was so happy that it's the only tile out of the steps from Hawaii. 2,000 tiles, 60 countries. Wow, look at this, dude. It's crazy. This is really beautiful, man. What a great idea, no? Woo! Look at that. The colors of Brazil. Love it. You're lucky, man, because it's empty. Yeah. Usually crowded. Look, Snoop Dogg and Pharrell, the steps went like 20 years ago. Snoop Dogg and Pharrell filmed a video clip called Beautiful. Uh, that was 16 years ago, 2004. And then we had Incredible Hook 2 with Edward Norton. International version of uh, U2. Many artists, Flo Rida. And she's the mayor of the steps. Your picture on the tile in 10 minutes. In 10 minutes? Yes. Love these steps. So beautiful. I mean, this is awesome. Love all the colors, all the different plaques from like all over the world. Really, really cool. I mean, it's different. It's unique. I, I, everywhere you go, it's like a different experience, right? So you have the Michelin here. You have Coca-Cola. Over there it says Te Atro. I think it's just teatro instead of te amo. It's a little, it's a little off. <laughs> Beautiful ceramics, man. Beautiful. This is so unique. I mean, this is a really cool spot to visit. Obviously, you must visit here. Top three in terms of places to visit when you come to Rio. Look at this. Wow. And at the very end, you have the flag of Brazil. And that is gold, blue, green. Gold, like gold. You know, obviously gold because the land has gold. Blue because it has. The Atlantic Ocean and green because of all the forest. Woo! So the steps go all the way up to the flag. Yeah, it's over like 220 steps, over 2,000 tiles from over 60 countries. Very colorful, green, yeah. yellow, blue. So like do donations by tourists, right? Exactly. Like I did 12 years ago. And if you notice, like on both sides, it's like hot tub, like bathtub, right? Amazing. And then he fill it up uh, with cement. Yeah. Yeah. So I would say go up halfway, Get some photos, come back down, 
Always stay around when there's a lot of people, right? Exactly, always. When it's desert, man, keep away. Yeah, when it's deserted, deserted. stay away from that exactly. area. Exactly, stay away, exactly. All right, let's go to the next spot. Let's go. All right, where are we going? Let's go, bro, uh, Elijah Park. Beautiful park. Botanical garden? Yeah, it's in the Botanical Garden neighborhood. This one called Aterro do Flamengo. It's a, uh, man, like a huge outdoor park. And it's beautiful. It's a residential neighborhood. It's called Flamengo. That's Flamengo. the name, That's the name yeah. of the soccer team. Yeah, right? I was about to say, it's one of the four main teams uh, in Rio. So Flamengo, Vasco, Botafogo, and Fluminense. And what's that? Right in front of us is Sugarloaf. One of uh, Rio's landmark. Yeah, this neighborhood now called Botafogo. A lot of uh, names of the neighborhoods in Rio. It's like an Indian name, and also name of uh, another soccer team. So not not Indian in terms of India. It's Indian uh, Native Americans, right? Yeah, Native so Americans. the people who were here before, you guys took the names, correct? Like the language, right? Like tribes, right? Language, and yeah. Right in front, we have Christ the Redeemer at the very top. Damn. I, I would never get used to that. That's crazy. Yeah, and now on the right hand side, right hand side now we're driving by one of the slums where Michael Jackson filmed the video clip called They Don't Care About Us with Spike Lee. That was in 92, right here. Oh, as soon as you look inside, it's like straight up jungle. Wow, the breeze coming through. Oh, it's great. Look, here they have caramel, chocolate, or Nutella. I like doce de leche. That's the most traditional one. Doce de leche? Yeah, I think it's better. Yeah, they call you gringo. Amigo, you no soy gringo. Oye? You no soy gringo. Eh, no? No. <laughs> you soy un gringo muy lindo. <laughs> All right, so this is uh, doce de leche. Two rows doce de leche. I love this. Man, it's delicious. Ah. Mm. Muy bon. So it is freaking delicious. I love this leche. This leche is basically sugar. Yes. That's all it is. It is. And this is fried dough with sugar on top. I've had it in San Ginés in Madrid. In Madrid? Number one. Same? No, it's it's like the number one place. The yeah, oldest but, place. But they do with uh, sugar, right? Sugar and cinnamon. Mm. And you dip it in hot chocolate. Right. Like like. Oh yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. Here they do with chocolate too. Chocolate and Nutella. You Look, know? he's making some more. This one costs how much? Five. Five. So one dollar. Yeah. Look. Mm-hmm. Mm. Delicious. Obrigado. Valeu, obrigado, sir. Obrigado. Valeu. Muito bom. That was delicious. Oh, I can do that every day, bro. Oh, absolutely. So good. So this leche, the best in Colombia, yes. in Brazil, yes. always. Okay. Beautiful park. As you can see, these trees, these palm trees have been here for over 200 years. Now, what else do we know about this place? Yeah, David, uh, this is called the Royal Imper Imperial uh, Palm Trees, right? Like the King of uh, Portugal, Johnny VI, when he arrived here around 1808, he brought these uh, Imperial Palm Trees. Oh. Uh, there are a lot of jackfruits, right? They're originally from India, Philippines, and Indonesia. So they're now originally from here. There are so many and they grow so tall and they kind of like get shade uh, from other trees. So it doesn't help some other plants and trees to grow because they don't get enough sunlight. And there's another pandemic that uh, we have a type of monkey that is not native called marmoset and they're not native and they're just eating other animals that it doesn't belong to the food chain, right? So these are invasive, the monkeys are invasive, 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 invasive. species, yeah. and over here we have the jackfruit. So if you guys yeah. don't know, durian and jackfruit are basically cousins. Yeah. They look very similar, but they're completely different. We are visiting now the, the Laje Park. Laje because it comes from the name Henrique Laje, that became like from the high society, like a family from the high society. Uh, so they used to, to live here like long time ago, right? Beautiful place, that's where... Uh, Snoop Dogg and Pharrell filmed the video clip here called uh, Beautiful. I think that was uh, in 2004. Yes, it became very popular, this place. Okay, now we're about to go inside where they have like a beautiful swimming pool. And there is a cool cafe in the back where you can have a nice cup of coffee. Wow, so this is like a palace. It's a palace. Yeah, that wow. uh, used to be his residence like long time ago, imagine. Wow, this is sick. Amazing, right? Whoa, what's this line for? This line is for this Instagram stuff picture. Yeah, this place is very tourist uh, called Plage Cafe. It's kind of like a French bistro. 
I think it's okay. It's nice for the for the atmosphere, for the experience, for the place, right? While you're having a drink, while you're having a coffee, you contemplate the architecture of this building. It's a palace by the swimming pool. It's cool. I like the atmosphere, the ambience. And it really reminds me of Alhambra, Alhambra Palace in uh, Granada, Granada, Spain. Very similar when you walk in, you have this beautiful swimming pool, but obviously here it's different because they have a cafe here to the left. And it's very chill. I mean, you can come here, relax, get a coffee, get water. I'm having cachaca because it's, uh, it's five o'clock somewhere. Actually, it's almost five o'clock, right? Yes, it's five. It's 4.36. And yeah, a lot of beautiful people, like always in Brazil. <laughs> so this is called Selecta. Selecta Cachaca. Selecta. It's strong, no? Forte. <laughs> Some strong stuff. We drink sparkling water with lime juice. Delicious, always. And lots of ice. That's how we drink. We like it. Kind of like soda? Soda. It's like a sparkling lime juice. Yeah, sparkling lime. As we are in the middle of the jungle at 5 p.m., which is now, bring repellent because the mosquitoes love to attack people's ankle, like mine. I'm surfing now. And that's why I always walk around jungles with long pants. I'm used to it. I'm from Miami. A lot of people in Miami just wear like chancletas, uh, sorry, sandals and shorts. I don't do that. I'm always like, you know, cargo pants and shoes because if not you're gonna get bit i don't get bit miami mosquitoes here mosquitoes all day this cachaca is phenomenal this one's good this not so strong this one yeah not only having meat but some other food like seafood sushi different types of dishes from different regions of brazil this is amazing, and man, let's go. I'm hungry. Mask on, let's go inside. Let's go. Tudo bom? Boa noite. Seja bem vindo. Tudo bem, tudo bem? Vamos dar. Okay. This is awesome, I love this. This is like an American steakhouse. This is beautiful, look at this. Really cool, so is that, is that, is that George Bush up there? <laughs> this is like uh, the main musicians of Bossa Nova, right? Okay. In that painting, they have a piano. So usually they play uh, Bossa Nova because Bossa Nova is like the new samba, right? Awesome. So it's a type of song from Rio de Janeiro. The decoration of this uh, steakhouse, it's totally real. This feels like an American steakhouse. Like yes. An upscale yeah. American steakhouse. Yeah, upscale. Number one in Rio for sure. So you have drinks over here, mini bar, yes. right? Then yes. you have this seating area. Right. And we're going to go to the back. Exactly. So they have wines, they yeah. have books. Exactly. And over here, they have the dining room. Tudo bom. Carlos. Boa noite. Sejam bem-vindos. Tudo bem? Boa noite. Cara, tá diferentão. Tudo bem? Tranquilo? Tudo bom? Tudo bem? Tudo bem? Cool. Alright my friends, we are going in the back to see them cooking all the meat. The bones, the bone? So right here we have all the meat on skewers. Chef Silvia he's just showing like some premium cuts, like ancho, uh, beef de chorizo, which is the Argentine steak, right? Yeah, now he's putting the grill. Take a look. Just premium cuts. And right here we have the best thing of all time. Look at these beef ribs. So massive. I mean, this is just delicious. Oh, I am so excited. Seeing all this being cooked right now is making my mouth salivate. I mean, look at this. And when you get really close, you're in the inferno. Oh, I'm like dripping. Oh man, the chicken hearts. Oh, the lamb leg, sausage, picanha, all the fat, the dripping, just so good. And over here, just more meats, more meats, non-stop. Let's go guys, let's do it. Beef sashimi. All right, beef sashimi, let's do it. Woo, woo, hot, hot. Mm. Sorry, man. I'm too hot. Mm. Wow. Very good. Delicious. Juicy. Mm -hmm. Another one? Oh. Always. Why not? Crispy from piece. outside, huh? Mm -hmm. Look like gelatin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look fat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure we're going to have it. See, see. Perfect. Ready? I'm ready. Let's go eat. Let's go. Do it. Obrigado. Bom trabalho.
Obrigado, você. Obrigado. Hey, David, this is something you have to try. Lime juice into the sparkling water. By the way, this is the best sparkling water in Brazil. So lime juice with sparkling water and ice. Oh my god, so refreshing. After being in that heat, you know, going in the kitchen is really awesome because you really get to see what they're doing. Unfortunately, you know, unless you're VIP, you can't go back there. But you get the point, right? So, doing the meat on skewers, so hot. But everything comes out super delicious. So what's gonna happen now is they're gonna keep coming over here. They're gonna bring us meat after meat after meat. So we have something like eight to 12 different cuts from what I saw. And they do have buffet. So right now, because of the situation, you know, they don't wanna waste food, so they don't have the buffet out. But you can order everything on their buffet menu right here. So they have oysters, they have sashimi. Yeah, it's a la carte, but you can order, it's the same price, right? 169, all you can eat. So that's roughly like $38, but that's without water, that's without alcohol. Yeah, besides drinks, uh, dessert, and the service charge, right? Yeah, just the buffet. All right, my friends, so we're gonna start off with some oysters. Oh yeah, we ate so many oysters in Floripa, and I'm ready to devour these. Mm-hmm, oysters all day. Mm-hmm, mm. And the heart of palm. Guys, the heart of palm is so good in Brazil. Mm. Crunchy, super moist. So we got picanha, I have chorizo, and we also got lots of different vegetables. So we have heart of palm, uh, cucumber, mushrooms, carrots, everything looks delicious. And they just keep coming, right? They come, you some yes, you some no. I've been to places in Miami where you have a card green and red, but here it's just like, they just come to you and say yes or no. That's it, very easy, can't wait to eat the food. All right, so how do we start? Man, I would start with the picanha. Picanha all day, right? Oh, picanha all day. Oh man, look at that. Picanha all day prepared from, uh, by Mr. Silva. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, wow, this one's quality so good. Nice. Quality, mm -hmm. salty level. Yes. This was like medium, medium, medium rare, right? Medium rare, that's exactly how mm -hmm. I like it. Not too bloody and not too medium. Well done, mm -hmm. you know? I personally don't like well done. Mm -hmm. I know people who love well done, where it's like almost too hard. Dry, too dry, yeah, too dry. And hard, and yeah, hard. Sometimes it's like eating a shoe, mm -hmm. you know, that mm -hmm. hard. I love the fat. Yeah. I know you're leaving the fat, but the fat no, for me is the sometimes best. Sometimes I, I eat like a little piece, you know, sometimes too much. Mm -hmm. Dude, for me, this is the best. Yes. Brazilian food, picanha. Mm -hmm. But no, no mint jelly, right? No, no mint jelly. No mint me. jelly. Just the rock, just the lamb. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, for sure. They, they know they know it's our favorite. Yeah, this is they the best. They know, por favor, obrigado. This is the best. This is the best. Careful that knife, dude. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with this curry now, Frau Jean. Sure. It's curry steak. Yes. Perfectly medium rare. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Obviously, picanha is going to be big, better for me. I mean, just the quality. The, it's like the main deal here in Brazil, right? Mm -hmm. The chef's the man. This guy is mm -hmm. too nice. I use, man. Okay. Mm -hmm. So remember, you always have to grab this. So when he cuts, be cool. Wow! Look at that. Beautiful. What a beautiful piece of meat. Yes. And this is which one? Prime rib. Prime rib, okay. Yes. So I'm a little confused with some of the obrigado. Okay. See, see. You always see it. Chef okay. Silva treats us like a, a father, you know? Yeah, he's the They're, king. Yeah, and like, we, we got really spoiled, right? I know, I know. He's too nice. He's yeah, like he's very us. kind, you know? And he's just like offering non stuff stuff and Yeah, every serious. time, you know, when I recommend this plate to someone, I always say, hey, if you are lucky to have Mr. Silva serving you, you're gonna have a better experience, you mm -hmm. know? He, by the way, Mr. Silva is in charge to for the meat. For the meat. Yeah. I'm gonna try the sausage. Sausage. Delicious as always. Not spicy. Mmm. Smoky. Can't go wrong with it. I Pork personally sausage. love it. Mmm. So prime rib, huh? Yes. So good. Mm -hmm. Look at that beauty. I love it. It's not too thick the way they cut it. So you just have the flesh and the outside, you know, a little crispy. 
Mr. Silva usually don't get happy when it's like just non stopping, right? He wants like full plate. Yeah. Wow, look at mm -hmm. this, guys. Oh, wow, yeah, it's mm -hmm. me very bloody that's how i like it whoa and i love the how thick they cut okay not too thick see see obrigado yeah so i'm gonna try the medium rare and you have to eat this fast guys otherwise get cold argentine uh prime cuts chorizo which is not a sausage we call beef the chorizo right and then we have the entrañas mm-hmm David, very important. You can't take too long, otherwise it gets cold because of the air condition, you know. So you have to eat fast. So the rare, the rarer one is better, right? Mm -hmm. In your opinion? Mm. Oh wow! But now, lamb chop, both our favorites. So good. Oh yeah. Hmm. So taste. I just love it. Mm -hmm. And lamb comes, this lamb is from here. Yes. This wasn't imported, right? Yeah, from Brazil. That's the biggest difference in the States. We don't really get like super fresh lamb. It's usually frozen, like from frozen. New Zealand mm -hmm. or Australia. The best lamb I've probably ever had in my life is a few places like Greece, Faroe Islands, Uzbekistan, Germany. Italy, they do pretty good. Mm -hmm. Albania too. Albania too, mm -hmm. yeah. You really have to come hungry, but mm -hmm. the price is it's good. You know, in the States, I paid triple this yeah, for the same but, thing. But uh, I believe, man, sometimes it's not about quantity, it's about quality. So it's yeah. better just focus on the premium cuts, you know? Yeah, And for you sure. don't need to eat a lot, you know? No, I love the size. It, it's an experience, you know? Mm-hmm. Look at that, look at the fat here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Saw this? Crazy. Yeah, the Argentine cuts are definitely the highlights mm -hmm. here. But picanha, mm -hmm. well, the French fry always. But this is crazy. Mm -hmm. The bloodiness. Bloody, fatty. Another technique that I use, mm -hmm. usually I don't mix with carbohydrates. Like yeah. French fries, rice, you know, beans, just grilled vegetables and meat. Mm -hmm. And it helps to digest, right? So this is entraña. Sorry, we both in don't know English. the name in English, but I know in Spanish because I've had it my whole life. So uh, the one I had before was called flank steak. Mm -hmm. This is skirt steak. Entraña is skirt steak. Sorry, guys. My uh, my parents um, come from Venezuela, <laughs> so my whole life it's been entraña, entraña, entraña. Hmm. Mm. It's not common in Brazil, okay? So you won't oh, find, not. yeah, you won't find any like regular steakhouse because it's uh, Argentine. Argentine, mm -hmm. but as you have a huge influence, right? Argentine, Uruguayan. Yeah, I mean it's the same area, right? Mm -hmm. So we are all neighbors. Yeah, exactly. It's like you guys in Puerto Rico, Mexico, you know. Exactly. So you have a huge influence. That was perfect phenomenal. salt level. Yeah, phenomenal. Perfect salt level. Mm, super tender, mm -hmm. a little bloody. Oh, you're gonna need to drink a lot of water, guys. Mm -hmm. You're eating so much salt, drink a lot of water because you will be dehydrated. A lot of sodium, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Very important. I want to leave a tip for everyone that's watching us. Uh, usually, when you go to a steakhouse, they tend to offer you like a sweet cocktail with lots of sugar and condensed milk. Mm -hmm. and as they know, it's all we can eat. Usually, it's like strategy to, to slow cut, down. To slow down. Yeah. Also, bread too. And very important: bread, cheese bread, pastry. There's no, I mean, there's no reason to do it. Well, but I'm not saying you cannot have it. You you can have, but one tiny piece, one piece. Just because sometimes you come here but very hungry, you want to eat the whole basket of uh, French fries, for example. And then you get full. Tiny pieces, yeah. you know? Yeah. That's why, like, whenever you go to restaurants and they give you bread, I'm actually surprised oh, with that because there's no point because they, you should, they should want you to eat more, not yeah. less. Yeah. You know? This and, is a different situation. And I believe, man, bread is like, you, you go to a bakery to eat bread, you know? Yeah, yeah. You don't come to a steakhouse to eat bread. But that's okay, you know, it's just a suggestion for you to have a better experience, you know? Mm -hmm. And, and <clears throat> I mean, focus more in, into the meat. 
By the way, fried banana. The fried banana mm -hmm. is unreal. This is a dessert for mm -hmm. me. Mm. Add some vanilla ice cream on top of this, mm -hmm. or some dulce de leche. Mm. And these, like are, these are the Prussiana fries mm -hmm. because of this kind of like format. Yeah, it's I a little don't know different. How do you guys uh, wave format? Like a wafer almost. For not almost not a wafer. Wave uh, uh, yeah, it's like that. Kind of like ruffles, but like ruffles. Yeah, exactly. but cracked one. Okay. Yeah. That yeah, looks nice. I, I stay away from that stuff. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I don't love it. Um, but yeah. So far, so good. Do we have more stuff coming? I'm making four already. Yeah. And we have this heart of palm, like roasted heart of palm, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is from Brazil. Like this, love it. All over Brazil, you can find cans of this, like on the yeah. streets. This is so good for you. It's delicious, it's filling, it's crunchy. Like this, this is fantastic as well. Mm -hmm. But I prefer this style. Oh. Paleta de cordero. Mm -hmm. So this is the leg of the lamb. Lamb, yeah. Wow. No, we're not pretending here. We are eating all <laughs> this beautiful. This one's very nice. Oh, yeah. Give me some of that. This is my favorite, guys. Lamb legs. And this right there, look at that. Look at that. Oh, wow. So good. Our favorite, huh? Lamb. Lamb leg, right? Mm hmm. I mean, it's also good. Lamb chops, lamb leg. Yes, all day. But lamb chops is number one. Yeah. The meat being attached to the bone. Yes. Always. The flavor always, always is pulled, right? Correct. Oh my gosh. This is so fire. Wow. Mmm. The oil is just dripping, no? Mm. This is like a straight up steak mug bang. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Taking enough of it, guys. Oh, please. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take a mini break because I'm getting really full. That's another thing about Churrascaria, about Brazilian steakhouse. You can spend here like a few hours, relax, you can go outside. Brief a little bit, come back, you know. So no time frame. No time frame. Yeah. Unless it's like super busy, you know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But, but like right now, you know, not so busy. We can stay here for a few hours, just eat, eat. When I went with my dad, we spent like two and a half hours, yeah, yeah. literally just eating, and we we're like, let's yeah, have a but, break. But chill. there's no set set time. No set time. No set time. Well, let's see what comes next. They bring the ancho too, Uruguay. Oh yeah. All right, my friends. We have two more cuts of meat. This is the gaucho, right? Ancho, ancho, ancho. ancho. This is Uruguay. From Uruguay, yeah. Wow, it's bloody. Yeah, David. Usually, ancho has a lot of uh, fat. Okay. So. Mhm. Mm it's good, but usually, medium rare. It's better. Yeah. More juice. Next up, I'm trying this amazing beef Mid ribs. ribs. Mm. There's nothing like it. It's just falling apart. Mm -hmm. And the best part about this is that, you know, they won't waste this ever. They mix it with rice, they mix it in a sandwich. So everybody eats it, no matter what. Croqueta. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. And Mr. Silva is in actual cooking. Yeah. Yeah, this is actually. Wow. People that really love meat, this is one of the most delicious ones. You know? one it's called hum. Yeah, hump. 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 Okay. Não é mais seu. Não, para quem gosta de carne, isso aí é uma das favoritas, né? Aquele outro que veio aqui adorou isso aí. É verdade, that was a... O meu as quatro vezes pro pin. Caramba, o Chef Silva tá com a memória boa, hein? Oh, it's the best one. It's the best one. It's the best one. Yes. Wow. Wow. The flavor here is insane. It's so soft, too. Um velhinho candango já já tá... Saying you, you, you're getting old, bro. I am, I am. So it's I'm like you're old. slow, you know. No, I'm also tired. Mr. Silva is a little bit worried. Everything like, okay? The meat good? Everything good, you're, everything you're, good. You're, you're, <laughs> yeah? Mr. Silva is a little it's bit man, worried, like you're not eating much. No, too much. Uh, I'll eat it all. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain. But it's like almost like a marshmallow. A marshmallow of meat. That is how good it is. The only thing I can compare it to is like an A5 steak I've had before mm -hmm. in terms of the marble. And it's just like it yeah. drips in your mouth. Right. It's straight up butter. You bite and it just falls apart. 
That didn't even taste like meat, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, in Portuguese, we call it cupim. 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 You gotta be really careful when you come to these steakhouses. Yes. yes. It's all you can eat, but you better have a, a second stomach. Yes. Mm hmm. Banana. Not banana. <laughs> Do you notice I like the banana? Yes. <laughs> All right, I think this is my last bite. It's not your last bite oh because he brought the what is duck, this? Th duck top salon steak. Duck. Okay. All right, guys. I think this is my last piece of meat. This is top sirloin duck, right? Not beef. This is duck. So it's been a while. I'm having ham. Okay. Mm. Stronger taste, huh? Mm -hmm. No. It's definitely different. Mm -hmm. It's it, you know obviously duck. You're gonna get a poultry taste, right? You're not mm -hmm. gonna get that beef. It's good though. I mean, to be not honest, your favorite. It's not my favorite, but I'm so full that I'm like just doing it for for you guys. One drink lots of water to keep hydrated. And really, really quick, cool fact. Just told me this. When you come to Brazil, mm. when you drink water, you're always gonna get this water, right? And, and local water. Local water. Lo local brand. Local brand, yes. Yeah, so you're gonna get this like size, right? Like 12 ounce. But if you are like an American, like me, and I'm like, hey, I want a big bottle because I wanna keep drinking, we share it. He's like, you should never order that because that's imported, it's gonna be the most expensive bottle. So rather than do that, you know, obviously support the local drink the local water. I, I think it's unnecessary, like yeah, you don't need to share it. You each one order your own water you know your own drink i know i know it's part of your guys culture but it's a way man for you when it comes to bill yeah you don't get angry like oh the waiter offered me the most expensive water I said no you order the big uh, bottles and in brazil we don't have it only import plus when you're in a country man why don't you uh, support the local brands you know exactly. yeah i'm all about that it's uh, a it's a good tip for you to have the best experience possible right cheers so would you so would you Another good tip for you know wine lovers, wine like Cabernet Sauvignon, it helps to to digest. So we have to finish it off with some dessert. We have two things. What's this one? Uh, papaya with cassis liquor. Okay. And mine is something called gato. Lingua de gato, kind of like the cat's uh, tongue. Okay. Which basically, you know, it looks like uh, the cat's tongue. Yeah, yeah. Like a scoop out. of uh, ice cream, vanilla ice cream. So you have and like chocolate. So you have a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Yeah. You have chocolate that they pour on top, and yes. then you also have like chocolate bars, right? Yes. So I guess we just dive in. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. So this is delicious. This is the best thing after a super salty meal. Mmm. I like this. Look at that. Tony Parker, there's some nuts inside. Yes. <clears throat> it's a number one choice. Mm hmm Yes. Top seller. I mean, that's why you chose it for me, right? <laughs> for you and for Rafa. And I'm sick with this papaya. I'm gonna have it though. Yeah, yeah, have it. It's a tiny one. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's good. This is like a... <laughs> It's like a, a, a papaya. Yeah, I can. It's like almost like a yogurt. Yeah, I, I don't know how to say um, cassis. It's, cassis. It's a. I think it's a chair. I think. Okay. I think. Yeah, it's pretty good. I yeah. mean, this is very easy. Uh, if you like chocolate, if you like vanilla, you'll love this. If you're so tired. Let me work on your dessert. Oh, please, please work. Work, my friend. My man, I'm excited too. <clears throat> I wish you could have more time to spend here at this rooftop, which is amazing, lovely view, have some drinks. But let's go to Sugarloaf first. Yeah, I mean, this place is really, really beautiful. I've been to a few uh, boutique hotels like this, but never like right in front of the beach with this. Look at this nice pool. You have glass windows right here so you can see the view. Right there, we have Christ the Redeemer. Look at that, bro. Christ the Redeemer right up there. Oh wow, I didn't even see it earlier. Well, let's go. Sugarloaf is called. Oh, what is this area called? This is called Botafogo. Botafogo, we're right in front of Botafogo Beach and now we're heading to Urca neighborhood to visit the beautiful Sugarloaf Mountain. In terms of getting up there, the only way up is funicular, right? The only way, or you can hike? Uh, you can hike and you can climb. So like three options to reach the top. 
Next time I will take you to a hike. Very scary. <laughs> you need you need ropes and equipment, so. Oh man. Yeah, if, if you're scared of high height, forget about it. That's not real for fun. <laughs> real for fun adventures. And after only a 10 minute drive, we are here at the base of the cable car to go up to Sugarloaf Mountain. Look, it's right up here. Cable car. We have to go through here and it costs 120, 120 per person to go on the cable car. You wanna go fast track if you wanna beat the crowds. Obviously right now there's no crowds, but 220 is the fast track pass. So 120, roughly, what is that, $24 around. We're working. Let's now. go inside. Oh, it is hot. Very hot, it's not even nine in the morning. I know, incredible. Yes. And is it, so I have to buy a ticket, 120, so roughly $24. Exactly. Look at the cable car, right above us. Woo! Okay, David, uh, we're gonna do the regular tour, which is this one here, but they offer di different types of tour, like fast pass, when you, it's busy, right? Like during holidays, New Year's Eve and Carnival, and then they offer some other tours, but we're going to a regular tour, so let's go. And it's usually like every 15 minutes or until it's full, but because right now there's not that many people here, it might take a little while. Maybe like 15, 30 minutes between each each cable car. Okay. David, this one was from 1912, the first cable car to be built. That was from Germany. Then you have the second one around 70s from Italy. And now the brand new one from 2004 from Switzerland. And here it is. Beautiful car. Yeah, it's gonna be a it's three gorgeous. minutes ride. Three minutes, that's it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so the first ride up is to the midpoint. Exactly. It's called Woodcut Hill. And now we head into the second one, but before we head into the second one, we're gonna explore a little bit of this uh, station, which is very nice. Have a lot of lovely views. That was a quick three minute ride up to the next station. From here, we're at 220 meters, I think, right? This one, 220. 220. Over here, we have the original cable car from 1912 from Germany. Very small, just a box, right? Yes. And then over here, we have 1972 from Italy. This Italy. is the second generation. Yeah. First, second, and right now, you're on your third generation from, from Switzerland. Switzerland. Wow, look at the helicopter. And right in front of the helicopter, we have, where's that photo that we came from? Our hotel's right there. Exactly. Right there, we have Christ the Redeemer. We have the city, downtown areas over there. Flamingo Beach. Flamingo Beach, and then over here is um, Copacabana, but we will be able to see only from the second uh, station. Okay, because that's on the other side of that mountain, right? Yeah, yeah, from Sugarloaf Mountain. Nice, this wow. This is Urca Mountain. Just non-stop views. Non-stop views. Beautiful. So that's Flamingo Beach? Yes. And then what is that bridge over there? Uh, the bridge leads uh, the city of Rio to Niterói, which is another city. So this stop, the entire thing is a viewpoint. Over here, we have Sugarloaf Mountain, and then just epic non-stop views. And look at that plane. Wow. So the airport's right over here, right? So that airport is domestic? Domestic one. That's the one we landed the other day from Puerto Alegre. Right. So right there. Yeah, the international one is just further down. Yeah. Man, it seems that like both uh, airports actually, it seems that you're gonna land in the water, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's a little scary because literally it was lower than we are right yeah. now. I love when they do this curve because uh, they don't do that all the time because of the wind, right? And the conditions. So when the conditions like that, like really clear and the right wind, they always do this rod, you know? So cool. And that's it. You have the two old cars. You have the views. Over here you have, uh, oh wow, so this is the... The Flamingo the Jersey. Flamingo Jersey? Yeah. Sorry, so the store here, Flamingo Jersey, you can get some acai, some fruits. Mm -hmm. This is Jersey right here? Yeah. Official? Yeah, the, the Flamingo Jersey. Wow, love it. Yeah, I like that one, the first one. The first one's sick. Flamingo is one of the best teams. Last year they won the championship. They won, yeah. And it's, the, it's considered like the most popular team because they have the biggest crowd in Brazil because there are a lot of towns in Brazil that I, they don't have like a big team. So they go for, for the Flamingo. They go for Flamingo, yeah. Great. So over here you have Havaianas, you have some other stores, you can get something here, like some smoothies, some jewelry. And now let's continue to Sugarloaf Mountain. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're on the second cable car. We're going to Sugarloaf, right there. Yes. Wow, beautiful view. Meters. And here we go, Sugarloaf Mountain. Finally, dude. Yes. I've been seeing this my whole life. It's like Christ. I've been seeing it my whole life yes. and I can't wait to get there. Yes. So here is another platform, plus is a restaurant, right? A bar? Restaurant? Bar, restaurant, pizza place, bakery. This one's the most beautiful view? Yeah, the view of Copacabana Beach. 
All right, so this is the number one view in Rio. Well, my opinion, right? But the best Correct. view from Sugarloaf. Yes. So right behind us, we have Copacabana Beach. We have the Red Beach. As you can see, the Finicator is coming up, Teleferico. Yes. And over there, we have the city. Christ the Redeemer at the very top. And you can see all the different hills. There's a thousand hills in Rio. Yes. Right? 1,000 hills. Almost. Almost 1,000 hills. Yes. And they're all connected by tunnels. You have how many beaches? 70 beaches? 71. 71 beaches. Wow. I mean, Almost 7 million people in Rio. That's crazy. I like yeah. this beach, this red beach. It's kind of like exclusive private. Exclusive private. I'm sure there's a hotel down there. There's no hotel. Oh, there's no hotel. It's actually military circuit. Okay. So, engineering building, uh, navy, army. Yeah. Nice. And that's basically it. Let's go eat. Let's go. Right here we have a food court. They have, you know, fast stuff, casual stuff, bakery style, right? So, like, you know, about the queso, a lot of fried stuff, but we're going down to the bar, Bar e Bosque. So forest or jungle bar, it's right down here. Classical sunset. Yeah, David, now we have a, we are at the Classical Beach Club, which is a kiosk restaurant. Here at the Sugar Loaf, and they offer some amazing beers. From a town, which is one hour drive from Rio called Teresopolis, some amazing beer, man, craft beer. They have a Dunkel, a Bach, Vip beer, Right, IPA and a vice beer. I think I'll try the bar. I gotta say, this is an amazing bar. Really beautiful. Yes. It's a, a bar inside the forest overlooking the city, the beaches. I mean, just stunning. You can have some food here. You can get some beers and caperinas. I'm going with a craft beer, a local one called Terrazopolis. This is their box, so that's like a strong lager. 6.5%, so it's good. Hey. Cheers, sorry bro. Saúde, no. Oh, it's me so having, amazing. Me having squeeze OJ. Yeah. It's always the best, right? Yeah, sorry I don't drink, bro. No, the juices here in Brazil are phenomenal. Yeah. So fresh. I mean, especially with this heat, you need like juice, juice, juice. Yes. I'm having a beer because I like exploring craft beer scenes, especially here in Brazil. They're so big now, right? Like literally yeah. I've tried I think like a dozen so far. Different craft breweries. So many. And what do we order? Uh we order deep, deep fresh wind. Deep fresh wind. Deep fresh wind. When you eat shrimp in Brazil, it's gonna be deep fried most of the time. Yes, <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> if you wanna get the best view of Rio from a bar, come up here. Look at this. Incredible. Enjoying my delicious beer under the amazing sun, summer in Rio. Oh, super hot, but it's the best time to come. Uh, so the bar is made up of two different levels. So you have the top where the bar is, is like a yawning here. You can sit under the shade, or you can sit in the sun at the bottom overlooking the view. I'm gonna sit in the shade. It is way too hot. This bar is delicious. All right, my friends, we are ready to eat. Some deep Saúde. fresh shrimp. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Really good. Mmm. Like this cream mayo. Mm hmm. Yeah, we forgot to add the lime. Mm hmm. Definitely add lime and dip it. It's still so hot, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. These are good. They're not like king prawns. Nice size, but the lime, the crunchiness, I and the creaminess. That's ones that we had even in Florida and Naples, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Different way to do it. I mean, obviously, we're here at a you know tourist destination, yes. but this bar is awesome. Good beer. Good food, looking over this Quite view, beach, and you're yeah. going to pay for it, right? You're going to pay for yes, it? Yes, man, I'm going to pay for all the beers you've been drinking <laughs> today. No, I mean, we're, we're going to pay for it because this is like oh. $15 for this little dish, and then it's like $5 for each beer, so... Of course you pay. I thought you saying you're going to pay. We are going to pay. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Nice good snack before lunch. Yes. Hey, cheers to Classical Beach cheers. Club. I love this place, man. So relaxing. Mm -hmm. The view, the food, mm -hmm. and so veja. Mm. So happy we came up here. Mm -hmm. You have to come to this bar. Oh yeah. We make it up here. I love it, man. And um, you have to know how to get here, because it's kind of like a snitch way to get here, right? Like, kind of like hidden. Yeah. So once you get off, you walk straight. Keep going down, yeah. and you'll make it here. Oh, I just asked for classical beach club. It's in the forest. So it's bar in the forest. Yes, bar in the forest. Jungle bar forest. Yeah. All right, Obrigado. guys. Obrigado. We are headed back up to get some more views and head out to the beach. You ready? Let's go. 
Wow, man. Incredible view. What? We made it. Yeah, we made it. So, quick tip, never lose your ticket. You won't be able to get up or back down. They'll charge you for sure. And uh, when they're about to leave, they'll ring the bell so you can start boarding. And don't miss it. Remember, right now, because of the times that we're in, it's gonna be every 15 to 30 minutes. Unless it's really, really packed, but right now, obviously, not that many people. Look at the view. Never ending. Like, wow. And having the Christ the Redeemer on the top just changes the whole thing. Yes. I mean, I'm never gonna get used to that, man. I'm coming back to real for sure. Please, David, always come back. You're always welcome, bro. To the back? Saudi. Hey, Saudi. Saudi. Where are you from? Miami. Miami, all good. Obrigado. Obrigado, você. What a beautiful ride. Really epic scenery. The view coming down will blow your mind. The natural beauty of this city is something so special. Concrete jungle with, with a real jungle. Look at that. Sugar loaf. So cool. All right, this is the official store of Flamengo. Yes. Flamengo or Flamengo? Flamengo. Tudo bem, boa tarde. Essa aqui é a principal, né? Sim. So this is the official jersey. The official. No, just 250. So this is 50 US dollars. It's a deal. I paid like. 140 US dollars for the Beckham jersey of Miami. This is a large, it might be a medium. We'll see. Depends how much meat I've been eating here. See, it fits good. Hey, it fits good like this though. What do you think? Too big? No, no, it looks cool. It looks okay. Okay. I take one. Obrigado. <laughs> Flamingo the best. Flamingo the best. Melhor. Yes. I'm buying the jersey for me. I'm buying it from both of my nephews. My nephews are athletes. They play soccer every single day. Look at this. Yes, best team in Brazil. Best team in Brazil. The best and biggest team in Brazil. Let's do it. <laughs> Obrigado. These guys are too, too nice. They're so funny. They're like, nah, you gotta buy this jersey. So cool. So they have a few different other jerseys, obviously, and the ones that aren't official, but this is the official one. This is the one the players use. I know, it's so cool. so cool. So cool. What a bargain. Any other team in the world, you want the Barcelona one, the Real Madrid, 150 euro. Yes. Official. So good deal, huh? Good deal, man. You got for what? Thirty dollars. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be repping real no, dinero no, the rest of my yeah. life. Yeah. Actually, it was fifty dollars. Fifty for this one, forty for the kids. Okay. So good deal. Good deal. Yeah. Buying this with this view, you're gonna always remember this. This is why I like traveling because these moments <laughs> yeah. are never gonna go away. And very important, helping the community, right? Exactly. You're helping. Yeah, keep, keep it up the business, right? Mm -hmm. How many times have you been up here? Oh, probably like 5,000 times for the Whoa. past 20 years. To be honest, for me, the best thing is how hospitable everybody is. Everybody's so yeah, friendly. friendly yeah. All staff, C super customer friendly. Customer service, hospitality. Bom dia. Bom dia. This place is packed. Hey. Bye, buddy. Obrigado. Nice shirt. You like it? Yeah. The that, best. I support this team. Yeah. I support the team too, man. Thank you. So like I was saying, it's pretty packed, not so bad. I mean, later in the day, it always gets harder, right? It's already noon, people are coming out. It's getting really hot though. Now we're going to the beach. Let's see how hot that is. I mean, right now, summer, December in uh, in Rio, in Brazil, you are always, always get these scorching heats, unless you're in like Curitiba, somewhere in the mountains. Whew, but I like it, I'm from Miami. Sweat all day. Yeah, we're now driving through Uruca neighborhood. That's where Sugarloaf is located, and now we're heading to Copacabana Beach. And it's an exclusive neighborhood, right? Because there's boats, there's... Yeah. Super secure. Copacabana now. Very nice area. Really lush in terms of trees. You have buildings. You pass by lots of boats right here. You have yachts, sailboats, small fishing boats, the skyline. And now we're driving straight through to Copacabana Beach. South Beach is better. No, I'm joking. Uh. <laughs> And we're here with a fan. This is a uh, is Gilles fan. Natalia. Natalia. <laughs> Obrigado. Nada. See, si, thank you for the ride. What a beautiful day. Every December is like this, right? Almost. Just, just like beautiful, sunny. And this is Copacabana Beach. It reminds me of Barceloneta in in uh, Barcelona, Barcelona yeah. but this is way bigger. And what I mean by comparison is that they have mid-level skyscrapers, you know, uh, I guess mid-rises, right? Like 10, 15-story buildings. Then you have the main boulevard, 
Then you have the beach and it goes down all the way. How, how long is the beach? This one about five kilometers. The five whole, kilometers, the whole yeah. thing. Wow. And a day like today is the perfect you know, time to go out there, enjoy, eat some Boys, food, play some soccer. Ah. Selfie? Let's do it. Go. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, and this is it. I mean, very similar to like South problem. Beach in a way. Not the same. Our Ocean Drive, our Collins Avenue, all that's very different than this. But this is cool. This is different. It's a pretty big area, but I mean, it's all condensed, right? It's just, you know, lots of people, restaurants, hotels, and beach. Never ending beach. She's too nice. Way too nice. And here we are on the beach. The reason why this place reminds me of South Beach is because of the buildings, the architecture, Art Deco. Art Deco was like 1920s, right? Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, these uh, neighborhoods start in uh, 1910. But Art Deco, it was uh, between 20s and 30s. Correct. And right here we have the beach. You have some vendors, you have a little, you know, small cafes here, bars, and then the beach. Exactly. Hey, David, that's the most popular hotel in Rio de Janeiro called Copacabana Palace Hotel. Amazing. Bom dia. Bom dia. Oh, bom tarde. Boa tarde. Tudo bem? Tudo bem. It's a cool place, you know. I like it. It's always fun. The beach is nice, but of course I prefer other beaches, you know, to hang out. I think it's a place that you you have to come at least to take some pictures and swim for a little bit in the ocean. Fortunately, I'm not swimming, but I'm going to experience it. Here there's a lot of different vendors. Lots of people getting tan here. Super hot. What's up, guys? Oh my god, look at everybody. Boiling here in the boiling, sun. Boiling. Boiling. Woo! Tropicalo. It's a Tuesday, 1 p.m. This place is packed. So many people just diving in the water, hanging out, and having some caipirinhas. Let's have one. All right. Let's try this. Yes. It's, so it's sugar cane, the ice, lime, and sugar. It's strong, huh? No. No? It's okay. strong. He didn't add too much, but okay. it's good. I think it's better than yesterday. Yeah. Just this is the, uh, the most traditional drink in Brazil. Yeah, we tried it in the cup, but yeah. here on the beach with this heat, yeah. it's perfect. You know, under the sun, uh, I'd stay out of the sun. Yeah. Right? Always. Always. No. He's Go teasing on. you that he doesn't like your jersey. You don't want that. Come on. He's fast with that It doesn't matter what jersey you get here in Brazil, they're always going to rock on you. These guys love this team, but then some people hate this team. The guy, this, this, the is the number one, this is the number one team in the country, right? Seven million people follow it. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, right there, right there. That's the flag. That's what I'm wearing, baby. <laughs> Obrigado. To all my Cuban friends, this is exactly the same as Mojito. The only difference is they have cachaça. Mm. So good. Not so strong. I mean, yeah, two or three of these, you're gonna feel it for sure, but it's great. Just another day in Rio. Beautiful. So when you come here in front of Copacabana Palace, come to these guys, Pont do Julio 69. So point of July 69. And this is for me? For me? No, no way. You guys give me a jersey? Yeah. Obrigado. Obrigado. Yeah? Obrigado. MMA yeah. fighter. He wants to fight some local competition in the United States. Awesome. Do it, bro. Do it. Everybody's so nice here. So now? Let's go and have some snacks. I'm really, really hungry. I mean, we've been building up an appetite. It's been a, a long journey from Sugarloaf down to here. I mean, it's just non-stop. You can stay here for a lot longer, obviously. We're just coming here to see it. I don't have time to take off my clothes and just go in the water, right? So, beautiful, very nice. I came here, I've done it. David's been here. Let's keep going, food time. So this is the area of Copacabana Beach but this is obviously more residential, hotels, commercial area. You have lots of shops like this. You have bars, souvenir shops, clothing shops, a mix, right? My boy here, Gia, he lives right here. There's an apartment, so people live here. Everyday beach, very similar lifestyle, you know, very laid back, relaxing. And look at these bakeries, wow. Food looks so good. This really reminds me of a European city. Yes. You know, it's just like, which one? This whole thing. Lisbon. Yeah, I mean, Lisbon. Spain. Barcelona. Yeah. Lots of places like. Some places might be. Just very European in sense of the buildings, all pedestrian. Yes. Love this. Jungle and concrete. Yes. 
We're going to a place now where they have over 300 kinds of cachaça. I call, I call the temple of cachaça. So I thought we we're gonna get snacks, but we're gonna have cachaça. No, 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 no. We are going to have snacks. And if you'd like to order cachaça, you can order, but we're going to have a snack. Well, what do you prefer? Cockerel? Yeah, you got to bang, tranquil. Cockerel or chicken hearts? Whatever you think, bro. Okay, let's do cockerel. All right, my man. Let's go. Okay. What is this? Uh, this is uh, a cockerel, so big chicken with like a uh, special sauce, which is uh, garlic, onions, some spices, uh, orange juice, and, and cachaça. Oh, it's super sweet. This is like one of the most sweet ones I've had. Like, that's, no alcohol. That's the boss uh, cachaça. The boss cachaça? Yeah, the owner's cachaça. That's uh, one of his favorite ones. Wow. I mean, this is smooth. Very light. Light. I mean, I'm sure there's alcohol in here. 30%. Yeah. But it's, it's very, like, honey -ish. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's grab a wing. Drumstick. Alright, my friend. Oh. Mm. Mm. Different, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I love this sauce. Mm -hmm. It's like a two different spices. Yeah. Everyone fall in love with the sauce here. Mm -hmm. This tastes like the freshest chicken ever. Like a farmer table food. Yeah. So good, huh? Mm. And the skin. Yeah. Pour it on top. Give me that sauce, man. Woo! Oh, hot. Good, oh. Mm. Good bro. Different, huh? Mm. It's like barbecue chicken. It's delicious, oily, herby sauce. Mm. A little bit citric at the same time. Yeah, a little citrusy. Because of the, citrusy, because of the, the orange. Mm -hmm. it's a little bit like... I don't think of the herb. I mean, the straight herbs, oil, an amazing, delicious chicken. Mm -hmm. mm. So different. To be honest, I haven't seen a chicken like this before. Where they put it on a skewer, they cook it, and they just drench it in this oily sauce. Sometimes it's buttery, like an Indian stew butter. Yeah, like ghee, ghee butter, right? Mm -hmm. Ghee. Kind of. Oh, the flesh is drowning in this sauce. Mm. Oh, so good. It's almost like a pesto, too. Yes. Amazing, huh? What a spot, man. And what's the name of this place? Called Galeto Sates. Go Galeto, Galeto Sates. Galeto Sates. Yeah. So this is like an old school diner, very traditional. You have over a hundred different types of cachaças, but then you have this, you have sausage. No, they have meat like top salon, chicken uh, hearts. Yeah, it's actually the meat uh, standing by the balcony, you know? Yeah, it's delicious. They have cassava flour, uh, broccoli rice, Portuguese chips. It's a place for you to bring family and friends to have a meal or drink. So a mix of tapas mix. and drinks. This is some of the best chicken ever. I mean, to be honest, it's the sauce. The sauce is what makes this dish. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, to be honest, I would just drink this, but gotta be careful. Mm. Come on, see. More Oh, so so juicy. Mmm. It's like garlic, herbs, oil, and chicken. Muy bueno. Delicioso. Obrigado. 300 cachazas. Can't just try one. Yes, impossible. You can't have only one. Oh, this one's awesome. Oh, this is different. Oh, you have a different one? Yeah, it's strong though. Cool. I smell that. Oh, smells like, I don't know, cinnamon. For brave men. <laughs> yes, I'm a weak man. Dude, we did it. Yes, we made it. This is something you could do entire morning, right? So three hours starting from like 8 a.m. Go to Sugarloaf Mountain. Can they make it up? $22, $24 per person to go all the way up to Nicular. 
You get the experience. You get to see the view. Just enjoy it. It's so beautiful. There's nothing better than seeing the view from up there. First of Redeemer is amazing, but this is a different experience. You know, Teleferico, I mean, funicular. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. We call it Teleferico or Bongino, uh, bon bon which is a cable car. Yeah. So we went up there, which yeah. is actually sugar loaf, but it's very tough. There you go to the bar. It's a bar slash bistro. You can have some food, you can have a beer. Really amazing. I mean, in terms of view, that is my favorite view I've seen yeah. in Brazil. Absolutely, it's one of the most beautiful views of Rio. And then after that, we made our way all the way to Copacabana Beach. So the sun, the water, enjoy your time, relax, you know, don't do anything. We're on a sort of a mission, so have we're a, like walking around. We're, yeah, have a coconut water, just walk around, go swimming. And have some caipirinha. Caipirinha. I'm missing caipirinha, caipirinha. 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 And then after that, we came here. It was like a 10, 15 minute walk yeah. to this beautiful spot. Yeah. Name of the restaurant? Uh, Galeto Sats. Galeto Sats. Yeah, it's been over like uh, five decades. It's like a, it's a legendary place in yeah. Rio. So it's a place you have to visit you when you're in to. Copacabana Beach. This area, come here, have some snacks, have this baby chicken, sausage, have a huge meal if you want, yeah. or just go and try 300 different types. Or draft beer, yeah. Why not? Amazing. Bom dia. Tudo bem? Tudo bem. Whoa, this is a big restaurant. Wow. Huge dining hall. We got some champagne right here. We have some meat right there. This is epic. Oh, I can't wait. Wow. What are we doing here, man? We're going to eat a little bit. A little just, bit. Just a little bit, right? I love this restaurant. Look at this. What a beautiful architecture. The top, it's like wood, open, lots of light. On the outside, we have Sugarloaf Mountain. Over there, we have the beach, more beautiful bay, sailboats, and everybody's enjoying lots of meat. <clears throat> they just keep coming, keep yeah. coming. They have a, you know, obviously buffet a buffet station. style. Yeah, buffet yeah. style. Buffet style. Yeah, like ham, cheese, uh, salad. You can also like, it's a strategy, like, you can ask for like a house salad. If you don't want to make your own salad, they make it in the kitchen. Okay. Usually, right? And they keep walking around with different cuts of meat, right? Exactly. And what's cool is that right on your table, you know, your placemat, it tells you what they recommend. So they recommend these red areas, right? You like cupin. Now I know you like cupin, the hump. You like hump, hump, hump. <laughs> it's not Wednesday, dude. <laughs> Before we go in the kitchen, I want to show you this. They brought us a cheese and cold cut platter. Mm. Blue cheese, it's the best. Swiss cheese. Then over there we have brie. Swiss brie. Uh, uh, brie Parmesan. Favorito. Ham. Yeah, like uh, Parma ham. I love Delicious. With with the jelly. And now we're going to the back. The best part of going to a Brazilian steakhouse is going to the back and see how they do this non-stop rodizio. Whoa, look at this. Woo! Bon tarde. Bon tarde. Whoa. Wow. We're here in the back. We're seeing how they make all the meats. Woo! Tomahawk. You have lamb chop, chicken heart, so many good pieces of meat. It's non-stop. Jackson, go tomahawk. Oh, 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 oh. Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. Got the how? See how it's too funny? Yes. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> He's gonna bring to us the tomahawk on the table. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So, what do we have here? What type of cuts do we have? Oh, man, we have ancho, we do have chicken hearts, uh, lamb, le uh, French rack, tomahawk, uh, top salon steak, what? skirt, flank. All types, all types of uh, premium cuts. Ribs, prime ribs, we have it all. What is this? Charcoal. Charcoal, charcoal. The charcoal goes in here and then it just spreads throughout the whole thing. So many different cuts, so much delicious, like flavors. Yes. It smells amazing. Are yes. you ready to eat? Let's go right now. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, obrigado. To no one. Everybody left. <laughs> obrigado. Alright guys, it's time to eat. Let's see some steaks, some meats all day. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Man, can't wait. Let's dig in. 
We are ready to go. What is this one? Flank. 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 See. Bring it, my friend. Yes. Flank, flank. Lamb chops? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. Oh, this is so good. What? Take your time. We call fraldinha. Fraldinha que deliciosa. Mm-hmm. Maravilhosa. Suculenta. So juicy. Mm-hmm. Suculenta. Fraldinha. Hmm. You know, last night we had a lot of meat. Mm-hmm. But I'm ready for more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. I thought you would say we had a lot of meat for the past 12 days, or at least seven days. We, we, we just took a, a meat break in Florianopolis, exactly. where we had seafood. Sim, sim, top salon steak. Green up. Let's go. Ele primeiro, ele primeiro. Primeiro, primeiro. He's got this thing. Pescaria assador, que picanha. Picanha, the best. Oh, I love this. It's Man, the meat, the meat so juicy. Oh, look at that. How cu he mm. cut it so thin. Oh, wow. Mm hmm. And he just keeps cutting. Obrigado. Só um pedaço. Por mim? Tchau. Essa aqui, essa aqui, essa aqui. Tá, é pra gordurinha. Isso. Mm. Muito bom, né? É, olha Muito isso. Bom. Olha que coisa linda. It's freaking crazy good. Olha que maravilhosidade. Olha isso. So good, huh? Oh man. Mm -hmm. This, the view. I think the best time to, of course, if you don't have to work after lunch, it's kind of like during lunch. So you can have the entire day to digest all the food you ate. Mm -hmm. And night is hard. Salty. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh my god. And this? Lamb chops. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Every bite, you just gotta enjoy it. Mm -hmm. One thing I always recommend, when you bite, you close your eyes and you thank God. Thank whoever you, you know. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. So freaking good. You got potatoes, huh? Mm -hmm. Maybe one. Yeah, potato salad. Mm. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's a little late. It's like 2.30 in the afternoon. Yeah. Usually people come here around noon. Mm -hmm. Now it's dying down. Yeah. Oh, it was crazy. Mm. Look at this. Wow, so juicy, huh? Delicious. So juicy. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Man, I love this one. The flank. Yes. The flank and the hump. And the no hump is the best. Yeah, and the ancho, they're like the most tasteful ones. Mm -hmm. I believe. Personal choice. It's crazy because it's the same animal. Yeah. But this different parts of the meat, right? Yes. Asador, keep green up. Asador, green up. Yes. It's not because it's a steakhouse that only people that eat meat. People come here to eat fish, chicken, salad, sushi. Right? So it's not only a place to eat meat. There are a lot of people there that don't eat meat. Yeah. Right? So if you don't want to eat meat, but you still want to have this experience, come here. I think it's cool. It's fun. It's worth it. Now, ancho. Ancho. Look at this, man. It's like, this. it's like tuna sashimi. Exactly. Tuna sashimi. So soft. To me, one of the best. Oh, me too, man. Mm. Nice and like roasted on the outside, in the center, juicy, a little bit of fat. And uh, middle, middle, rare. Rare. Mm-hmm. Almost rare. Mmm. Raw mm. salt. Oh, delicious. Tuna sashimi. Right? Mm-hmm. In this place, asador means butcher. Yeah. The butcher. Mm -hmm. They have the best meat, the best view. They have non-stop wine if you want. They have a yeah. huge setter right there. We're good though. 
Yes. We're just eating and drinking water. You guys are gonna love this wife, this knife. Yeah, the knife's the best. The knife is so cool. Souvenir? Maybe. You can deal. <laughs> you can ask. Like I told you guys, call, they don't stop. Mm. This is a flank. Do you want to flank or try yeah. it? Oh, Frau Jean, que lindo. Have I tried this one? You, you did already. Already? Well, I'll get like a piece. Yeah. A nice piece on the side. You can't get enough of it. I'll put it here on the Oh, that's good. That's good for me. Obrigado. Também, obrigado, obrigado. Wow. Beautiful flank. Oh, it's delicious. It's a little, a little juicy and oily. Same thing, fatty. Yes. And crispy. Yes. Oh my God. Oh, so good. It's crazy. I know I told you last night I hit a wall with meat, but I can keep going. In Brazil? Nah, my we, hit, we, we eat a lot of <laughs> meat. <laughs> the best is to eat it right when he cuts it. Just eat it straight. Mm. This is incredible. Mm -hmm. And we have pan de queijo. We have some palm heart, heart mm. palms. What else do we have? So good. Yeah, if you want to like more side orders, you just ask, you know. Like I said, here, the you have to focus on like eating meat. And if you want to know what each cut is, right here, on the place map, yeah. you have every cut. Exactly. And their favorites. Yeah, that's to make uh, people's life easier, right? They don't know like what they're eating, right? They don't know the meaning, especially foreigners, so it's cool. Mm -hmm. They did the work for us. Wow. I just worked on that meat. Yes. My lips are like bloody and delicious. We just start. What? Yeah, we just began. I'm done. Just, just the beginning. <laughs> and this is cassava flour. Mm, so good with chicken heart. A delicious combination. Wow. It's like mm, juicy, thick, and crumbly. Another piece of meat. Bife de chorizo. Bife de chorizo. Uh, Argentine. Argentine steak. Mm -hmm. mm. Tasty, huh? Super tasty. This is like very similar, like before, like almost like two inches hard. They don't stop bringing the meat. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This picanha again. No picanha. Picanha de meat. Mm -hmm. Go sleep. Mm. Mm. I told you that sometimes they don't mm -hmm. see. It's just, it's heavy. Just like yesterday. Heavy. The only difference is that right now, we're experiencing the sun, the heat. It's just like, you're ready after this, straight to the bed, you know? Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm. mm. There's garlic. Lechon. Lechon right here. Yeah. <clears throat> In Portuguese, we call leitão. 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 Which is basically pork. Yeah. Mmm. So soft. Yes. That one's like crazy. It's yeah. like a crispy pork rinds, fat. <clears throat> and I don't know if you notice in this side, which is the top, it's chicharron. Mm -hmm. We call leitão pupurucado or torresmo. Torresmo. But torresmo usually is the, the belly, right? Mm -hmm. This is our last piece of meat, the tomahawk. Yeah. I love this. Me too. It's half fatty. Medium rare meat. Oh. Mm hmm. Mm. It's crazy. It's so delicious, but once you start hitting a wall, like usually you're supposed to have like 12 ounces, we're having like 36 ounces. Mm hmm. A meat, huh? Oh man. It's so good though. But what's your favorite cut? Ancho. So, I mean, today. Yeah, ancho, French rack. Mmm. I don't know, this is the best for me right now. Yeah. <clears throat> I always like ancho and french rack, like mm -hmm. favorite, favorite. You can bring like the best meat in the world, like how oh, it's gonna be with ancho and french rack. For sure. For sure. I mean lamb all day. No doubt. Every piece is different. Some are just salty, some are juicier, some are crunchier. Mm -hmm. I love this, asador, the butcher. They give you this option, so you just put stop or keep going. Green mm -hmm. all day or red all day. I go green until you really can't because mm -hmm. it's 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 tough. And right now it's 3 p.m., 3.30 in yeah. the afternoon. Mm -hmm. 
So you can see it's becoming emptier. Yeah. Less people. It'll pick up again at 6 30. Dinner. Yeah. I highly recommend, man, when people have a lunch here or dinner, go outside. They're like a bunch of uh, couch, uh, kind of like a lounge, you know, so you can mo smoke your cigarette, cigar, or have a wine, have a beer, have a water, or maybe just walk along the boardwalk. You know, there's like a boardwalk facing the Guanabara Bay. You can see the sugar loaf, and it's beautiful, you know. Yeah, I mean the flowers, the view. Yeah, it became kind of like a, a, an attraction. Yeah, I mean this place Make, is great. An experience, you know, like food experience. As a restaurant, I compare this to like in terms of look. Yeah. Like the Hillstone to Miami. Yes. It's an American steakhouse restaurant. Very similar. Love it with wood, all open. <clears throat> so cool. Window glass, outdoor, right? Beautiful. The furniture is all made by wood some banana yes and now uh, after we finish this meat time for dessert dessert yeah they have some really nice creme, oh creme brulee mm. cream brulee no crema catalana yeah but how, how do you call it in english creme, creme brulee creme, creme brulee creme brulee yeah but that's the french version yes and more spanish yeah but today you're going to have the brazilian version okay okay <laughs> All right, so we have creme brulee. The guy just came over here. He like nuked it with the flame. And this is it. This one is different than this one. Yeah, dulce de leche, caramel. What? Yes. Vanilla. And Rafa got a uh, lime. lime. Awesome. So how do we start? We start digging in with the spoon. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm. Dulce de leche. Mm -hmm. Straight up sugar. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, Argentine dulce de leche. It's crazy good. Mm -hmm. I love it because the top is crunchy. The sugar is sweet. Look, just straight sugar. Yes. Salve. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amazing. Next one? Right. Let's dive in. Oh wow. Hmm. Those are the best. Yeah, this is the classic. This is is better. Mm -hmm. I'll mix them both. Oh. Mmm. This is like a fluffy cream. Mm-hmm. And that one's a thick, super it's thick. It's kind of fl flumbound, right? Yeah. And this is like almost like like a super like a super dense. That's milk in a way, right? Yeah, but that's milk. That's basically what it is. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. So this one is lime. A little different. Let's go. Let's go. Mmm. -hmm. No, but this is key lime pie. This is yes. key lime pie. It's a uh, Sicilian. Sicilian lime. No man. Sicilian lime. This is Florida, man. This is key the keys. <laughs> I think my favorite for sure is dulce leche. This one is just too good. Look at this dulce leche. Just so sweet. You know, I'm not a huge sweet guy, but after having so much meat, I feel that saltiness. Mm, you still have it in your mouth, you know? I think they offer this type of uh, dessert in a purpose, you know? They know you need some, some nice sweets, right? And always water. I mean, to be honest. And always water. Dur during these steak houses, I won't drink alcohol. I don't touch bread. You can't. I mean, it's just not good. Uh, you're not gonna feel good. Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates, but also like having the wine, you're just not gonna feel good. Like, I, I almost feel like like meat drunk. Yeah. It's weird feeling. Yes. You eat so much meat, you just feel like the inchas, no? Como te sientes más? Inchado. 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 Yeah, like it just like expands yeah. your body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It expands your body. I mean, it's amazing. It's an experience. Always with all you can eat, limit yourself, you know, go slowly, yeah. take time. You can stay here forever. You can stay here for three exactly. straight hours if you want. No problem. Yeah. So your favorite was the ancho? Ancho, for sure. Ancho and French rack. Yeah, so French rack and tomahawk for me were like, today is the, my best, my favorites. And the dulce leche. Dulce de leche, for sure. Oh my God. This guy's over me right now. <laughs> all right, my friends, we are here at the U2 by Intercity. It is humid, it is hot, Yes. it is 10 p.m. at night and we are going to Copacabana Beach. Let's go. To have some delicious street food. 
Let's go, kebab first. Kebab first? Brazilian kebab. And then? And then like a big uh, hamburger. Okay. Or hot dog, let's, let's have the local hot dog from Rio. All right, yeah. let's and, do it. Uh, and then another place. Three places tonight. It's gonna be epic. It's 10 p.m. Street food in Rio at night. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh, we're going Copacabana. Copacabana. And I don't know how to sing the rest of the song, but it's. All right, so we're getting Uber. So yes. I'm gonna get there right now. It's a five minute drive, really quick. And every yes. single one of them are five minute separations, right? Roughly. Yeah. We are here at U2 Hotel at the lobby, waiting for the Uber. Should be here in about two minutes. Well, we're going to Copacabana. We're perfect right here in Botafogo. Botafogo, very Botafogo. nice neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful beach in front of us. Yes. Thank you, U2, U2. by Intercity. Amazing. I'm excited. Where's that Uber? How long? Five minutes? Right now, just got here. Just got here? All right, yeah, mask on. Mask on. Let's go. See? Uh, okay. Obrigado. The bono. Tudo bem? 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 Vasco da Gama. Tudo Vasco da Gama. If you guys don't know who Vasco da Gama is, that is the Portuguese explorer who yeah. discovered the spice route to India going under Africa to India. 1650s around there. 1500. Yeah, like 16 something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I visited that spot. He went there as well. Kerala, India. We love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And here yeah. we are in Brazil. Here Brazil. Vasco, Brazil. Vasco da Gama. Vas Cachaça. <laughs> Açaí. Cachaça. Cachaça. Caipirinha. Caipirinha. Tudo. 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 Ah, what a good, what a good night, what a good night. Uh, right now, we're gonna go yeah, under a tunnel always, to Copacabana yeah, Beach. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're having a good time. I am having a good time, dude. I'm loving this. Uh, David, Copacabana is like a 24 hours neighborhood. You know, it's like very lively. People love to like drink Bohemian. You know, that's one of the things I like about Copacabana. It's a neighborhood that never sleeps. Hey, David. Now, in a few minutes, you meet your twin brother. Oh, where do you go? Where do you go? Oh, where do you go? Let's go. Let's rock and roll. Let's go. Let's go. Ready? Ready. Woo. Let's go. All right, we're walking here in Copacabana, and right there's the street food right in front of us. Yes. Yes. David, I think you're gonna have for your first time uh, sambiquira, sambiquira kebab, which is the chicken butt. Chicken butt. Chicken butt. I've never tried that before. Adriano, Adriano. Porra, galera, eu tava ali pra vocês, vocês tinham saído, sejam bem-vindos. Sejam bem-vindos aqui, o Valera de Barro, porra. É. Tem alguma idade com essa? Porra aí. Dá uma sambiquira pra ele. Sambiquira, vende sambiquira. Uma, uma sambiquira pra ver nada. Sambiquira. E aí, japonês? Esse cara é Wolverine right now. Porra. Bom noite. <laughs> Tranquilo? Tranquilo. Aí, sambiquira. Sambiquira. Né, pra que o povo né, né, vai, chora. <risos> uh, é bom? Muito bom. Vamos experimentar agora. Sim? Claro. Experimentaram, seguro. I can't wait. So we have sausage, we have chicken. Oh. É, chicken. Oh, the aroma. Oh, que delícia. Delícia. Uba. Acabou o pão de alho. Garlic bread. Pão de alho. Pão de alho. Pão de alho. Yes. Excited, this is awesome. Street food vendors all around here. You got these buildings. E corta a ponta, pô. Vem farofa, ó. É, maluco. Aí, farofa, cara. Aí, vai, agora come, pô. Chicken butt. Sambiquira kebab. All right, so we have chicken butt. Correct. Chicken butt kebab. As no as sambiquira. Sambiquira. Yes. And so what's on top? Cassava flour. Wow. So good, different, huh? Yes. I've never seen this before. Yeah, it has some tiny bones, you know, a little bit crispy from outside. Uh, tender inside, but okay. might be a little bit dry, but it's good. I mean, it looks I like fire. It. I Grin. think you should put some chili sauce. Chili sauce, yeah. you have? Cadê a pimentinha? Alright, ready? Yeah. Vai machucar. Dizem que passar aí é pior, hein? Abre na boca e pica no <laughs> oh, it's fire. Mm. Oh, it's like crumbly outside. The butt. I would think it's a thigh. Feels like a chicken thigh. Not so yeah. bad. Mm -hmm. okay. One more? You can have it. That's some bones, huh? Fine. Mm -hmm. 
Look, little Small chewing. bones, it's fine. At least it doesn't hurt you, right? That's the main thing, but I like it. So it's a uh, hot. Oh, rotisserie chicken. Mmm, super tender. I love adding the cassava flour on top. It gives a nice like, crumbly feel. Almost like Parmesan, right? Yes. Wow, and the it's hot sauce, the this is like Cajun twist right yeah. here. Mmm. Yeah, bones, right? Deep bones, little bones. Little bones. Very I freaking good. love it. This is uh, le less than a dollar fifty no. each. Paying, paying like a couple bucks more, you add like a, a meal, a full meal. So here you have lettuce, uh, pasta, rice, and beans. We call like a, a PF, which is prato feito, like a meal, full meal. Her beans called feijão tropeiro, which is originally from Minas Gerais state. Uh, and it has some cassava flour on the top and it's delicious. Beans, huh? Look at these beans. Down there. It has sausage, <clears throat> bacon, cassava flour, beans, tending wheels and now. Mm, onions. Kale. Yeah, I love I love the way. And the pasta like glues on to the beans mm -hmm. because of the cassava flour. They like paste it together. Tudo da quant? Two dollars and fifty for this whole thing. And one kebab. One kebab. Yeah, man. You just add like a dollar to have this. Wow. When you always eat with protein, right? With the with the kebab. Delicious. It's so good. Look, look. Sausage. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a nice mix. It's a nice mix. Yeah, because you have a lot of diverse textures here. Mm -hmm. Like going from rice to lettuce, tomato, cucumber, which is crunchy. You know, pasta. Love pasta. Man, mixing it with this, cassava. Mm. It tastes so fresh, you know, so. Valeria, no, I stopped. She, she used to own a restaurant. Oh, we got her pasta, she cook with olive oil and garlic. That's it. Yeah. It's the best way. Keep it like natural. Yeah. Easy. Natural. Light, light on every ingredients, you know? When you add too many things, too much. Home cook. It's like she's cooking for you at her house, you know? Oh, man. But she sells on the street. Amazing, huh? I'm the bo boca de lagarto. Boca de lagarto. Oh, yeah. Delicious. So good. Having an epic meal here on the streets of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, COVID times. This is life. Mm. Fight your fears. Go explore, eat. Take a Do piece. It. Do it. Oh. The inside is so creamy. Like, usually, buttery garlic, sometimes mayo. Delicious. It has to be the mayo. Yeah. It depends. Sometimes they, you know, cook with butter or mayo and garlic. Some good food, guys. We're getting full though, and we still have to go to more places. So I'm gonna take one more bite. Give us the way. My friends, who's hungry? Feijão tropeiro. Feijão tropeiro. Feijão tropeiro. Obrigado. Saúde, saúde. Cheers, man. Saúde. Good stuff. This is original, right? Original. Oh, it's good. Mm. Super delicious. Obrigado, obrigado. Sí. Siempre, siempre. We are going to the next spot. We spent about an hour here because we made a lot of friends. Here we go. This guy's awesome. Rock and roll, buddy. Let's go. David, so funny. Our Uber driver, uh, he's trying to lose weight. He already lost 12, 22 kilos. And I'm just po pointing out where is the good food here, Copacabana. And he goes, man, you're not helping me, you know. I'm trying to stay away from this shit. So funny. He's lost 22 <laughs> kilos in how many months? Three meses. 1,96. 1,86. 
Cento e... Big guy, but he's tall, super tall. Ah, 124? 134. <laughs> super nice, people. Super nice. We're almost here, guys. In the middle of Copacabana. Yeah, San Jaime de Chia. Obrigado. Valeu. Tamo junto. Obrigado. Let's rock and roll. Next spot. Tudo bom? Tudo bom. Beleza. Rock and roll. Cachaceiro. Cachaça. Sim, cachaça. Agora. Agora. So, roast beef. Yeah, with cheese. Man, amazing sandwich. This place used to be 24 hours. Unfortunately, none of days. Not too busy. No. But very traditional. I come wow. here since when I was like a kid. Yeah. And you had this cachaça? Salina. Yeah, let's drink. Look, real, real, real chicken, real chicken. So this is it, roast beef sandwich at midnight. With, with cheese and pineapple. Oh. Pineapple? Pineapple. Oh my god. Mm. Wow. So like tropical, right? Crazy. So different. Mm -hmm. So it's basically a lot of roast beef, you got cheese, you got bread, and pineapple layer on top of it. So it's like, I say 80% roast beef here. It has kind of like a smoke taste, right? Yeah, very smoky. Very nice. Tropical in terms of like pineapple, like burst, crunchy. Spice. Mm -hmm. So it's mole picante. Oh wow. Delicious, huh? Delicious. You like the obrigado. Mm -hmm. You like the mix? Mm -hmm. Salty from the chili sauce and the sweet from the pineapple. Very juicy. You have these strips, the roast beef. Mm-hmm. The cheese. Uh -huh. The cheese just like keeps melting. Look, Portuguese chips. Oh man. And you know, next to it, that's their restaurant. So here it's kind of like a tapa bar. Okay. But if you want to have a full meal, you can have it here. There's a dining, dining room place. It's a dining room in the back. In the back. And they'll probably have this top bar. I think it's better. Cooler experience. Very traditional Brazil, yeah. right? Tem miolo. Tem miolo. Miolo. Tá bom, tá? You wanna eat some beef cow, beef brain? So I think we're trying some beef brains. Caralho, rinha maneiro. Dá pra fazer metade, metade, não? Caralho. Do you wanna cow brain or kidney? I prefer kidneys, but... Oh, you prefer kidney? Okay. Yeah, I mean, as an organ, I think it's better. Kidney? Yeah. Faz o rim. Oh, yeah, man. One of the best. Everybody here is so friendly. Hey, muito obrigado. A você. Am I speaking good? You're speaking great. 12 days? They don't talk too much. I know. They don't like. They're nervous. No, they... They're traditional, you know? Yeah. They look at curious. And right here we have the picante. Look at this jar. He closed it, but it still smells really, really spicy. So it's like a really hot red pepper. Lots of seeds. Obrigado, obrigado. <laughs> so guys, this is it. Kidney. Kidney. With butter. With butter. Huge. Yes. With parsley as well? Parsley, right? Yes. Or cilantro? Cilantro. Very hot. Mm -hmm. Don't know how, how can you handle it. Mm. Good. Huge organ. Good beef, Kenny. It's massive. It's delicious. It's exotic. Rio de Janeiro food, huh? Mm -hmm. mm. I personally like the organs because they give me like the most like, weirdest feeling ever. You know? Mm. A little bit chilling, right? Mm. It's so bad. The most exotic dish I've had in. Brazil. Look at this. Big kidney. Nah, man. I need spicy, like, on my complete thing right there. Cheers, bro.
Get it sauce. Mm -hmm. Definitely spices everything up. Huh? Mm -hmm. Wow. Some spicy stuff. So we're, we're really enjoying ourselves. I was having a great time. I know this place traditional. You have all the kegs over here for all the beer. You have a few at the back showing some like uh like game show yeah all these guys have been here for like 30 years 30 yes. years so very traditional yeah the oldest one 33 33 wow legends you get the legends the food is delicious i have another bite we're gonna go next door to the place we went today what's the name galeto sats galeto sats only 300 kinds of uh cachas. only 300 let's go ah see sí, see sí. obrigado Hey, obrigado, 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 chao, chao. Next door, huh? Right next door. Here, Galeto Sats. Cachaça, cachaça. Mucha cachaça. Mucha cachaça. Like we said, they have over 300 different cachaças. They have. Chicken hearts, beef, chicken, bread, sausage, non-stop food, and we're gonna try the cachaça. This is the house cachaça. Another sweet one. Bem me que. Bem me que. Bem me que. I don't want no more cachaça. Chicken hearts with garlic sauce on top. Uh, at midnight. This is uh, chicken heart. It's well known for like, if it's not the best one, not the best in Rio. Let's do it. But they claim they have like the best ones. Okay, bro. I already got you one. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Delicious. Right? Oh, so good. Mm. The garlic is not too crazy. No. But just right. Oily. What I like about this place uh, and about the chicken heart is not fried, it's uh, out of the charcoal, right? That's better. Real. Yeah, to be honest, it tastes different. Yeah, we're not big fans of fried. We, we don't recommend it. Always try to do more grilled, more, you know, on the pan, over doing fried, it's not good for you. But, you know, if you have to do it, this is the best though. Essa porção é quanto? Hum. Essa porção. Essa é 30. Okay, so six bucks. Six dollars. Good deal, huh? Good deal. Yeah, só um pouquinho, obrigado. Oh, I was gonna put this? Yeah, on the top. I mean, we must have like 200 little chicken hearts here. Better, huh? Mm -hmm. Wow, so delicious. So different. So unique. That's why I love the food here in Brazil. You would never expect it. Most of the stuff, I'm like, whoa, what a twist, you know? Mm. Hey, Lagarto and David signing out. We had an epic night here in Copacabana Beach. We did like three places. The first one, it was food. street food, but it was uh, chicken, chicken butt, chicken butt, sambiquira ke uh, kebab, sambiquira kebab. We also had next door her, his wife serves. Uh, rice, beans, beans, salad. Uh, yeah, but the beans with uh, sausage, kale, onions. Then we went to a place next door. We had kidney. Uh, we had the amazing roast beef sandwich with cheese. I forgot about that. And bro. pineapple. And pineapple. <laughs> that was amazing. The most popular street food in Copacabana, which is uh, the famous grilled uh, sausage sandwich. That's right behind us. Exactly. Okay. Let's do it. Let's start. Let's start. Sausage with bread. He added some lettuce, cassava flour. What else? Picante. Where's picante? Right here. I like spice. I'm gonna add some chilies. Maybe a little more. Just to make it really spicy. Breakfast of champions. Oh, 
well. Nice. So basically, it's a creamy, it's like a mayo. I wouldn't say it's exactly mayo, but a little bit of garlic in it as well. Oh, love the spice. Turns it up a notch. <laughs> oh man, this is crazy. Eating this at 8 in the morning. Mmm. Nice sausage. This is actually way better than the industrial sausage because a lot of hot dog stands, they have just like, you know, whatever hot dogs. This is really delicious. You know, nice, spicy sausage. Um, woo. You think it's impossible for me to, to not get dirty? Yeah, man, you always get to get dirty with hot dogs every time. How do you like it? Mmm. It's good. I love the bread. Oh, it's still super hot. I mean, obviously, it just came off the grill, right? It's amazing. And this is off for seven, so one dollar and thirty cents for this massive hot dog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So creamy. I just enhanced with the flavor, right? And I definitely suggest adding the spice. I mean, it's really spicy though. This chili's really gets you. Oh, and my lips are tingling now. Mm. Mineiro here, he's been here for like three years, uh, been offering this amazing grilled sausage sandwich. Uh, basically, bro, it's just sausage, grilled sausage, into a French bread, the mayo with herbs, that's why it's kind of like a green uh, mayo, and lettuce and some Parmesan cheese. That's it. Very simple. We've been selling this from 7 in the morning until uh, it's sold out. So imagine, I man, people that live in this community here, like coming down at seven in the morning on the on their way to work, having this for breakfast, just amazing. Oh yeah, take them on the way, yes, man. Ciao, ciao. Valeu, mini All right, let's do it. Let's go, dude. I loved it. It's good, huh? It's good. Different. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, I love the sausage. That's that's yeah. what I like the most about this one. It wasn't just yeah. industrial hot dog. No. It's a nice, you know, yeah. crafty sausage, a little picante. But then when he adds the the creaminess of that, you know, mayo with herbs, oh, yeah. so good. The best part was adding the spice, though. Exactly. So this neighborhood we're driving through is still Copacabana Beach. It's still Copacabana. On our way to San Conrado. That's that's the name of the neighborhood where the slum is located. And Copacabana Beach is like a huge South Beach, and it's actually a real city. I mean, it's a neighborhood, but it's, neighborhood. it's like a big, big neighborhood in terms of the buildings right so every building here is roughly 15 20 stories it feels like a european city really really european and now we're gonna cross through another tunnel i'm guessing get to the other side correct we're gonna get into another tunnel from gavia to san conrado and this is it right here favela yeah yeah just just arrived now okay. we're gonna find parking space so we're gonna meet with our guide and then we're gonna take a motorcycle to the top yeah exactly and then from and there we're gonna walk. walk yeah great rafa Lista! Lista! <laughs> pronto! Pronto! Eu estou pronto! She's a little nervous, but I'm good, I'm good. No, Can't bro, wait. it's I'm all excited. good. It's gonna be a lot of fun and it's just another neighborhood, you know? Yeah. Cool people, hard work people, beautiful people, a lot of culture, a lot of good food, a lot of man, beautiful views, you know, like viewpoint from the top. Oh, I sure. love this place, you know, like Make yourself at home. Mi casa, su casa. Okay. Minha casa, sua casa. All right, so right now we're walking through like a, you know, covered market. Just one long tunnel. And this is basically their flea market. So they have like clothing, stuff for schools, watches, backpacks, and that's it, right? It's really short. It took us like two minutes to cross the whole thing. Now we're gonna meet the guide right now. Yeah, David. Hey. Un prazer. Un prazer. Uh, David, Guilherme already said that you came with the right jersey. That means he's Flamengo. Yeah, you're <laughs> the best one. Okay, so we're gonna jump on a motorcycle now, right? Yeah. Uh, we're gonna go to the top of the favela and we're gonna take the motorbike because it's the most important transportation in the favela uh, where everywhere you use the motorbike. So we're gonna go to the top now. Let's go, let's go. That's where we're going, this one. Let's rock and roll. Fresh your legs. Exciting. Also very scary. The favela is packed. Packed. So many people here. Whoa. Passing by a bus. Motorcycles. Winding roads. This is epic. 
Finish. Wow. Yeah. Great. Oh, wow. Wow. Cool. Right. Really nice. Beautiful view of the city. Take a look. There, there, there is an American school right there. American school. So like I told you earlier, it's like apartheid. There's no apartheid in Rio, right? Everything's all together, like mansions that cost millions of dollars, uh, private American school and the project right next to it, right? So right there we have the school, American school. Yep. Over here is somebody's mansion. And then right here is a favela. Literally yeah, yeah, just a little, yeah, a little, next door to each other. Next door each other. Really next, amazing. Yeah. David, look up massive jackfruit tree, man. There's like 50 jackfruits above our head. So much jackfruit here in Rio, huh? So much jackfruit everywhere. All right, let's go. Let's go explore this place. So we're just walking down, right? So yeah. you can't go higher. Yeah. So we're not gonna go deeper in. No, yeah, we're just we're walking down. down. No, there's a way to go higher, but not interest uh, sites. Okay. So we're just gonna walk around. We're gonna see some houses, some of the vendors, and just explore the favela and really see what life is like here for locals. So there's only two ways to get up here. Either you take a public transportation bus or you take the motorcycle. Motorcycle is better. It costs around six per each. Right? Yeah, and, and more adventure, right? Yeah, way more adventurous. And what's crazy- I like the breeze, the wind. Yeah, and what's crazy is how steep this part is. Very I mean, steep. going up, I was like, yeah. whoa, this is insane. I've, I've done, I've done all if you notice, but especially girls, they have like a big squat and big legs. Because they're up and down. Oh, oh it's like an outdoor free gym. Two hours up? Yeah, they don't attend gym, they just do that. Just like walking. 10 times walking. Whoa, and look at the view here. Ah. You have the favela, you have the mountains. <laughs> really, this is, I mean, the, the view. We're going up here? Yeah. Whose house is this? Whoa. So steep here too, man. <laughs> yeah, somebody's house that they we, there is a nice view and they used to share for the people to the visitors. So I take back what I said before. This is the better view. Yeah, this, this is, is the, I mean, the this best is view. Another side, another side. Though. Yeah, so you have all the houses here. Whoa, over here you have Atlantic Ocean, and again the contrast. What? This is crazy. This is crazy. This is. Whew, I've been in a. Favela in, in Caracas. Yeah. Yeah. Very different, but it's very similar at the same time because it goes along the whole mountain, yeah, you know? Time for breakfast. Huh? Breakfast. Breakfast. Okay. What's for breakfast? Oh, cachaça? <laughs> this is great. Look at that one. What? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> so, this is a souvenir shop yeah. up here on this terrace. So they have like paintings, they have Christ the Redeemer, you know, all the stuff you always find, but I yeah. think these are the coolest yeah, ones. Yeah, I was about to tell you that, bro. This is like uh, made by the artists, right? Wow, So this Very is nice. like helping, the local supporting the, the community, right? Like the local artists. This is amazing. Amazing. Okay, do they take yeah. credit card? They take credit card. This okay. one, for example, it's Augusto, is like one of the famous uh, painter, you know? I mean, these these are my favorites. I'm yeah, gonna buy this, some of these. This is like family. leather, leather. And then over here we have cachaça, right? Yeah. Obrigado. Cachaça for breakfast. Yes. Woo. Look, look. Ca oh, this is great. This is sweet. Cachaça de café de manhã. Perfeito. É, é muito. Uma mais. Uma mais. <laughs> so it's Christmas. I'm gonna buy my family some gifts. So I'm buying them paintings, right? Supporting the community. That's why I'm going with these, and I, they're really beautiful, perfect for their houses. I like this one as well, very nice. So when you come to the store, buy something of the favela. Either you get a painting, you get this shirt. These are pretty cool, bathing suit, favela right there. But these are nice as well. 
right here. Look at this. So I mean, this is just a little ornament, you know, souvenir. You put it in your house. To be honest, I'm good with that. Paintings, yes, for the family. Obrigado. Obrigado. All right, so I bought two paintings. I don't know for who I'm giving it to yet, but uh, 100 each, right? So $20, pretty good deal, supporting the community. Let's continue. Careful your head. Woo! It's the officially entry of the slum. Okay. Be careful. Yeah, be careful. Be, careful. <laughs> be really careful. Try to stay to the sides. It's fine. Always watch the street. People are flying by. Motorcycles. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta go this way. Okay, this way? Yeah. So this is basically a tiny alley in the middle of the houses full of cats. Go, and go. It's, it looks pretty solid, right? Like, really good park for sure. Solid beams? That's sort of, sort of how it is in India yeah, as well. Yeah, have you noticed about the wires? Yeah, yeah. So many wires that connect with each other. Tons of wires. Yeah. Okay, here we go, guys. This is we have a lot of like shops like these that they used to, to sell salgados, local snacks in the favela. This is called coxinha. It's basically uh, kind of like a croqueta made out of uh, potato, shred, chicken. And it has kind of like an eye drop format. Look, a big eye drop. So it's just shred chicken with potato. And it's delicious. It actually reminds me of uh, Kibe. Kibe, Lebanese. What am I, what am I? Mm -hmm. So good. So basically, a fried mush ball of uh, corn. Corn. But it's actually potato. They saw it pass up. Mm -hmm. 60 cents. And you, get a, and you get a drink. 60 cents. This is called Guarana. Uh, it's a Guarana syrup. It's just a syrup uh, drink. Very sweet. A syrup drink. Okay. This, yeah. is like, this is almost like a Fanta. It's an herb from the Amazon. It's a fruit. I don't think it's but good for our health it. either. But not, good, not good for health either. But people it's here okay. love it. People love it. Yeah. You, you get the combo. So for, you get for 60 cents, coxinha with Guarana. Or okay. you can have caju, uh, passion. So for most people, this is a quick breakfast. Exactly. Come, or, get it fast and go. Or quick lunch. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, people don't have money or no time to yeah. have a meal. Bro, for 60 cents, you have a meal. I mean, to be honest, not my favorite either, so I'm gonna let it go. Yeah. Obrigado. Yeah. Obrigado você. Thank you. In the favela here, we have uh, all the kind of service. We have internet, telephone, electricity, everything. But there are some taxes that we don't pay. Water, for example, because we don't have maps. A lot of people, they don't, they don't pay for electricity because they make illegal connections. It's very difficult to control it. So all electric buildings are crazy like that one, for example. So all the buildings are like this. The electrical lines all connecting to one pole. It's like a hundred electrical lines. I don't know how that works, Somehow it works, but it works. Okay, so we're walking through the favela and we came here to one of the rooftops. This gentleman, 89 years old, he owns this. Now we are really in the middle of it all. Whoa, look at this. This is the killer view. This is the best view. Best view ever. It's I've never seen view. a view like this. This is insane. It, this is my favorite view of like Rio. You know, like we are really deep inside the favela. This is fantastic. It's unique. So cool, man. So all these were built by people. They just keep by building. Keep they just building. keep building, building, and that's it. The sky's the limit. And what are these blue things? Are these just water? Uh, water tanks. Water where tanks. we just reserve the waters. Yeah, water tanks, all the our water comes from the street. People that have like machine the bomb, pump the water, comes from the street, goes to the roof, and then go all over the place. This man yeah. owns this rooftop, so to come up here costs, right? Five real? Oh my hey, god. god daddy, you got your wood, brother. <laughs> 89, right? 89. 89, 89 years yeah, old. Right That's amazing. Uh, here we have like the main street, it's uh, the most important street uh, in the favela. But the majority of the people in the favela they live in alleyways and we don't have maps. So little alleys live pretty close to each other. Now we're going to continue down the main street and then connect into another alleyway. That one was super tight, wires everywhere. This is going to be very similar, right? Super steep again. Always steep here in the favelas. They literally built this community on a hill. Whoa. So. It's a maze, huh? Yeah. It's like a labyrinth in here. As you can see, super tight. It's a mix, right? So you have like restaurants, tiny shops, barber shops, people's houses. I mean, everything is literally next to each other. Here's two different houses, right? Yeah. 
Wow, another door, another door. Cool graffiti, nice murals. I love the murals, the paintings all over the place. Yeah, and look oh. at the architecture right here. You can see how like, I'm, you can see how people live pretty close to each other. Different experience, huh? Yeah, different. different world. It's like something I would never have have known about. I mean, you hear about the stories, favelas and stuff, but you don't really know until you enter. Yeah, it, it's important when you come to visit Rio and come to visit the favela because later you can understand the city, the culture, everything. People are sometimes they are afraid to come to the favelas, but don't do it because it's important. We are very important. In this alley, we don't have address, but in the beginning of the alley, close to the main street, they used to share the address so everybody can come here, put the box, come here and just like try to find your name. That's the difficult part, trying to find your name, but same address, same number, same address and number. Address now. But different people. Cross the main street, be careful again. Cars are flying down, motorcycles. Whoa, the wires. The wires is insane. I can't even believe they're connecting everything and everything actually works. We're gonna try some local food now. Local food? Yeah, this guy here, I met he, I met him 18 years ago when I was at 10 University. He owns a bar in Copacabana. He just made some delicious food we will try right now. ¿Qué es esto? Bayon de dois. Bayon de dois. This is basically fried rice with beans, right? Fried rice with beans? Delicious. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. Bring a lot of water or just buy water everywhere you go because it gets really hot in December in Rio. Uh, most of the people that live in, in, in the slums in Rio, they are descendants, migrants from Northeast of Brazil, right? And the people that work in the kitchen, they're mainly from CRI State. So when we have people from CRI State in the kitchen, that means they cook delicious food. Okay. And this is one of their, their dishes from CRI State, which you call Bayon de Dois. Bayon de Dois is kind of like a risotto, it's like a a rice, very rich rice with beans, curd cheese, sausage, tomato, cilantro, and it's delicious, you know? So it's moist. Obviously, it's moist. It's gonna it's be moist. moist. Exactly. Risotto is always moist. Always moist. And what we call Bayon de Dois. And you have hot sauce. Hot sauce. Okay, so we just try this? Let's go. Let's see. Oh, it looks good. Hot. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, as you can see, look. Mmm, mm -hmm. so delicious. Wow, you get chunks of like meat, right? Meat, uh, tomato, cilantro, onions, garlic, mm. beans. Oh, usually, so much flavor here. Usually we eat with meat, mm -hmm. but it's not even 11.30, so they open at 11.30. Okay. As I know this guy for like almost 20 years, he look at me and like, hey, I just opened a bar. This is brand new. Awesome. It just opened. Yeah, I mean, it's a hole in the wall, right? Yeah, it's, it's a restaurant, small restaurant. one. Yeah, two tables. Yes. You have here where you have like, uh, I guess, Coke, Water, beer, and yeah. the back is his kitchen. Uh huh. Pretty awesome dish. I love it. Delicious. It actually reminds me of a lot of uh, rices I've had in Colombia. Yeah. Usually, usually they serve with lamb mm -hmm. or cut in the salt. On the side, not inside. Yeah, on the not side. on the side. When, when they hang it, uh, the meat and it just dried by the, uh, the sunlight. Wow. Yeah. Let's add some hot sauce. A little bit. Always a little ting, right? Why not? Mix it in. Nice and yummy. Yeah, very similar to risotto, a little more tropical, love the beans, also the big chunks of uh, like sauces in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, so good with the hot sauce. Here's a little bit. Just mix it in, right? Yes. Delicious. Delicious. You, usually we, we, eat, we eat with meat. Mm. 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 Very filling. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, wow, we're not leaving this. So good. Obrigado, obrigado. All right, my friends, let's go. Let's continue to explore this beautiful place. Woo. I'm melting. So a lot of these shops on the main street are like mechanics, Small vendors, small restaurants. That's basically it. Most people who live in the favelas live inside the alleys. No one lives on the main street. And here we have another beautiful view. Wow, I mean, it's just view after view after view, dude. Man, another killer view. That's one of the things that I love about Rocinha, that every time you walk around, man, you, have, you find like a viewpoint. You know, it, and it's a type of view that it never gets old. 
and you, you never get used to it, right? So amazing. I mean, you really don't get used to it. I mean, it's just forever stunning views. And here I think is the coolest because you really see people just coming and moving and up and all the noises. It's like, it's yeah. wild. How many it's people wild. live here? Around 250,000, 300,000. So a quarter of a million people live here. huge man you can easily get lost and if you want to spend the whole day here there's so much to do and see like crazy crazy yeah so we're just making our way down you know went to the very very top with the motorcycle and now it's just a downhill journey yeah. super super slopey there's sections where it's like you know almost like 90 degrees yeah like so many alleys you know so many yeah, like, like really arrow streets you know and everything I see here are like Car washes, mechanics. Yeah, yeah. yeah mo mo moto, moto tax uh, wash. So many motorcycles, huh? Motorcycle wash. There's never any motorcycles here. No, never end. Great. Here we kind of joke around. We like it, it, yeah, we, we kind of joke around. It, it reminds a lot of Jakarta in, or Bali in Indonesia because there's so many motorcycles, you know, like crazy. Uh, every time, by like every corner, you find like a, a motorcycle uh, wash. So like car wash, right? Only for motorcycles. This is the first church of the favela. Uh, it was made in 1940. 1940, yeah. And the thing interesting in the favela that uh, it's a, I can say that the majority of people they are Catholic. So it, it's uh, we have churches everywhere. We have different segments. We have uh, Catholic churches. We have Protestant churches. Uh, Baptists. Some uh, African religion, for example, Ubanda, Candomblé. So. People here, they are very, very religious people. Okay, so we're entering another alley. Yeah, another alley. Super narrow. Super narrow. Steep. Steep. The same every time. The same every time. It's you pretty know, intense, the, man. Yeah, it's intense. And the only thing that could happen to you if you come to the favela and you don't know, if you don't know the place, is to get lost. It's really super easy to get lost here. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Always come with, it, with you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> And I highly suggest watching your stuff because there's always something, some garbage or, you know, some some poop from dogs. Uh, but besides that, very easy, not too bad. You might have to be in shape to go up and down this because I'm pretty good shape and I'm struggling. But also the heat right now, the heat is just like, dude, unbearable. It's easy, 100 degrees Fahrenheit right now. December 16th in Rio de Janeiro. So we made it right back down to the bottom. This is where we started. And we're gonna get some juice. Orange juice right here. OJ every day. Cheers, bro. Cheers. OG. So refreshing. OJ every day. With this heat, you need something to refresh you. Wow. Oh, that was good. Fred, that was good. So good. Cold. Freezing. Lots of ice. Three re eyes, right? Each. Okay, not bad. Not bad. So it's like a dollar ten for two. Yeah, not bad. Perfect. And that's it, my friends. We explored the biggest and most beautiful favela in Brazil, Racinha. As soon as we got here, we got on a motorcycle and went all the way to the top. And from there, we walked down, going through different alleyways, seeing the main street, trying some food, and just seeing local life. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you. It was a huge pleasure to stay with you. Uh, we have a really nice experience. Uh, walking the streets, seeing the local life. It was a huge pleasure. Thank to you to visit my place. And that's it. Hope you like it. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you. So, Gile and Gile. Yeah, but he's Shusha. He's Shusha. He's Shusha. <laughs> that's his nickname. He's a gym manager. That's no, good. The Academia da Cachaça, that means the Academy of Cachaça. Wow. They have like over, like, I don't know, like a couple hundred Cachaças. Uh, cachaças. Well, I'm going to have one because my last day. Let's go. Let's go. Is it? Oh, nice.
This is it, right, right here? Yes. Just in this terrace? Exactly. Beautiful. So here is Academy de Cachaza since 1985, as old as me. I was born in 85, and over here we have all the cachazas. Never any cachazas. Delicious. Sugarcane liquor. This little shot here comes with the feijoada. Basically, it's a cachaça with lime and honey, and it's delicious. It's uh, cold, refreshing, perfect for this hot weather. So, this cachaça? Cachaça. Oh, wow. It's almost like a limoncello. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Sweet. it's nice. Sweet. Very nice. This one, like alcohol wise, super low. Yeah. So, again, they have over 300 types of cachaças. It does not end. You can see their entire wall. You go inside, you can just walk around, choose one, say, I like that one, or go through the menu and see, you know, the different prices, different alcohol grades, how old they are. It says everything right here, eight years, two months. So obviously older, they've probably been aging in barrels, right? I'm excited, man. Feijoada, first time trying. I can't believe I haven't tried it till now, but obviously we've been trying to dive into the food in every single place, so we haven't had time for it. We kept it for the last day. All right, first time trying feijoada. We have a mix of things, kale, orange, rice, cassava flour. We got pork with uh, with black beans, and it's different pieces of the pork. You have here the sausage. Let's start with the sausage. Let's start with the sausage. Mm-hmm. Kind of smoky. Real good. Kind of so smoky. It's been um, it's basically been like bathing in the in the frijoles and the black beans. Yes, we call fish young. Mmm. So, put that. You're gonna love it. Mmm. Spice. A little bit. Just put it all, man. Oh yeah. Put it all. Let's do this. Yes. I'm so excited. Mm-hmm. He was telling me that usually they have every piece of the organ here. You yeah. Know? But this one, they're keeping it super clean. Yeah, in fact, not not organs, like more... Body parts. Body parts, yeah. Tail, ear, tongue. It, usually people kind of like afraid to try all these parts because it's very unusual, right? Mm -hmm. But in my opinion, it's the most delicious part. You know? I think so. It's kind of like more gourmet. Yeah. Yeah, but I like it as well. It's just different style, right? And I gotta say, this mix is delicious. Yeah. So many different yeah. flavors and textures. Mm -hmm. In terms of having the orange, it's a nice burst, really refreshing, tropical. Mm -hmm. Kale as well, very tropical. I love yeah, the ribs, beans, Yeah, ribs, sausage, uh, jerk beef, you know? Mm -hmm. Then I like the mix with the cassava flour, the kind of, yeah, the crunchiness. The orange cut the saltiness, you know, so mm. do this mix. Kale, cassava flour and orange all at the same time. Kale, cassava flour and orange. Good. Right. And it has some pork crack cracklings as well. Pork cracklings. Look. Okay. Oh yeah. And now a piece of orange. Mm. Sweet and salt at the same time. It's crazy good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Really heavy. In Brazil, we serve feijoada on Fridays and Saturdays. Okay. So you can have Saturday, take Saturday or Sunday to rest. And okay. this is a happy meal. So that's the reason behind yeah, it. Yeah, the reason why we came today, which is Wednesday, is because they serve every day. But This restaurant serves every day? Yeah, most of the restaurants that are specialized in feijoada, they only serve... I'm talking about Rio, okay? If you go to Sao Paulo, I think it's a Wednesday and Saturday. Oh, wow. Yeah, and here in Rio, usually Friday or Saturday. Mm. Yeah. I love it. I really, really love it. It's good, man. Yeah, man. It's different. It's good. So it's like a Portuguese African influence here. You have two, right? The mix of cultures, which is what Brazil is. Mm hmm. And the French cassoulet. Mm hmm. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. It is a phenomenal dish. I'm super happy that I tried on the last day because I feel like I would have wanted this like every day. Yeah. We tried so many things. Man, today we're gonna try some other things that we're gonna like blow your mind. Some street food, some acai smoothie, you know. Mm. Delicious. And this is a huge portion. This for mm -hmm. at least four people. Mm -hmm. For three of us, and we have so much. Wow. Grab, ribs. grab a piece of these uh, ribs. Costelos. Costela. Costela. Look at this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mind Not blowing, mind, mind blowing. blowing. I've actually never had ribs that are like the black bean sauce. Yeah. Mm. 
So good, and I love the cassava, man, the texture, you know, that gives to you. Saúde! Saúde! Drinking chili sauce. You're wild. Ooh, this was a straw wood. Mmm. Love this dish. The national dish of Brazil. Mm -hmm. So good. Like, too good. I mean, it is just phenomenal, man. And it's, is it an expensive dish or no? Here, it's like $30 for four people, mm -hmm. which I believe is a good deal. Mm. But if you go to like some really local authentic places, you get for like, man, Three one bucks. plate, five, five, six dollars. That's it. So you really... For, for actually for two people. You eat something like this for five bucks. Yeah. It's not going to be beautiful. It's not going to be colorful. Colorful. No, no. It's going to be colorful, but I don't know, man. The way they do here is also nice, mm -hmm. but more gourmet style, right? But I like it. Oh, I'm gonna say it's probably my favorite dish. Obviously, I love the meat, but this is like, wow, it's mind bending how how unique it is. At the end of this tour, man, I'm gonna take you to a place where you're probably gonna say it's going to be your favorite Brazilian snack. Not food, snack. Mm. There's more huh. Yes. All right. What a delicious meal. 171 for that. So like $36, something like that. Pretty good deal. I think it's perfect for three people. Don't eat that. You're gonna eat a lot of food the rest of the day. We're gonna have more like snacks today. We ate the whole thing though. It was freaking delicious. Something you have to try. Obviously, national dish of Brazil, feijoada. Let's go try some acai. Now we're going to have acai, which is a fruit from the Amazon. Uh, it's our favorite place in Rio and it's considered like the best acai in Brazil. So acai has become a huge phenomenon in America recently. Acai bowls for breakfast, you know, you yeah. mix it with like granola, fruits. I like it straight. I had it in Suriname in the jungle. It's not really the Amazon jungle for them because it's not considered actually part of the river, but it's part of the ever, you know, the big Amazon rainforest. And, you know, I had it straight from a vendor that pulled it out of there in a huge bag and just drank it like that. A little different, right? Right. Uh, here we'll be able to have like uh, plain. Some people put uh, syrup. They don't do it with the syrup. They do it with uh, like kind of like a honey, right? Yeah. And then um, yeah, it's great. I mean, the only one better than this one just when you get out of the tree, like straight from the jungle. Then you have to fly to Belém, to like Combo Island or to the Amazon, right? But man, outstanding product. Like really good. Like really high quality. And it's considered superfood, so it's healthy, antioxidant, right? Uh, yeah, it's delicious. After a 10 minute drive, we are here, ready to try some acai, the best, superfood. Hey, bom dia. Come on. Javi, placer, placer. Acai. Acai, the good one. The good one, the best one. Yeah. Let's do it. Love it. Love this spot. It's like a juice bar, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We order like plain acai, and acai with uh, sort of like honey, which is the sugarcane syrup, right? And then here we have like a granola mix of nuts. Uh, yeah, man, it's very rich. And here tapioca flakes. You know what's amazing is that it looks very thick. And, like, and, and really dark purple. Really dark purple, yeah, I love it, man. It, very and, bright. And when it's like with nothing, it's really good. Obviously, honey makes it a little sweeter. And if you add the rest of the stuff here, you're just making it into a bigger meal. Yeah, let me see if this one is plain. This one is plain. Try plain first. This is plain. Yeah. So it's just like very thick. Um, it's good, but I'm sure this one's gonna be up my alley. A sweeter one. A sweeter one. A sweeter one for sure, man. <laughs> I love it. It's thick. So good. There is something uh, interesting about this granola. Yes. Oh, the granola. This is a project that we made with the Federal University of Rio de Janeiro. Mm. 
<laughs> the best. So one thing the owner was telling me is that the, the acai that leaves Brazil is pasteurized. This is like the purest form. I mean, it is amazing. Sweeter for me is better, but it's, you know, it's honey, so it's good. Mm hmm. Mm. Another granola, man. Yeah. So good. Mm hmm. Super thick. Super thick. Super rich. You can feel the superfood. You can really feel it in every bite. Yeah, you feel it in your body, yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, wow. So crunchy. Mm. The granola. It's delicious. It, I would say it's like a, in terms of texture, it's like a, between like ice cream and yogurt like in there yeah. you know and it yeah. keeps melting right so eventually it'll become like very liquidy tapioca tapioca flakes it look like marshmallows <laughs> <laughs> very crunchy crunchy huh mm -hmm. mm. the one they're having is pure no honey i recommend with honey mm. Sugarcane syrup. 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 So it's a great source of iron. Uh -huh. yeah. Great. So, so if you want to be really healthy, eat this every day. Yeah. Even though it's filling, I feel like in an hour I'll be hungry because it's straight fruit, you know? Yeah. Mm. Oh wow. Delicious. I literally can have another one. That's that good. Oh, the best acai I ever had in my life. Right here. Wow. Cocoa almonds. Mm. Crunchy, chocolatey. Mm. Delicious. Mm. This is a taperebá shot, which is cachaça with taperebá uh, fruit. It's a exotic fruit from the Amazon. Okay, guys, let's try this. Sweet and sour, wow, right? Yeah, it's almost like a smoothie. That's what it tastes like, thickness-wise. Like a smooth, a smoothie, but you can, nice and cold. But you can taste a little bit of alcohol. No, you can taste the alcohol, yeah. but it's super fruity. Yes. Obrigado. Right, well, nice to have you here. Thank you. I heard you went around 80 countries, is that true? Yeah. Oh, this is a, how lucky you are. No, man, lots hope, of work. Hope you bring some good things all over. For sure. Wherever you go. The best acai in Rio or in Brazil is right here. Hey man, thank you. Valeu, valeu, Let's go. Let's, go. Let's, go. Right. Let's continue this epic tour. Let's do it. This is called Laranjeiras. We are driving by the Fluminense Football Club, soccer stadium. It's right there? Yeah, right there. In, uh, on our left-hand side is the Governor's Palace. So we're here at our third spot, Takaka do Norte. Let's see what they got. Yeah, here we kind of call like the little Amazon where we have the, all the products from the Amazon, right? So we're gonna have the Brazilian pho, which is the manioc starch with jambu leaf, shrimp, uh, tapioca gum. Uh, we're gonna have this amazing beer called Serpa, and we're gonna have a shot of uh, jambu cachaça. The one that kind of like giggling your tongue. Yeah. Here we have takaka, which is a uh, manioc starch with jambu leaf, uh, shrimp, tapioca gum. So just get in here, get this. Oh wow, super green, huh? Oh, look at that. Tapioca gum. Takioka gum is right there. How do you get that? By slurping, right? Yeah, from, from the manioc. Oh man. <laughs> it's like tingling already. Tingling, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that you had the, the shot of uh, jambu. Oh wow. Yes. Had the shrimp. How do I eat it? Straight? Yeah. The whole it, thing? Oh, the whole thing. And drink the yellow liquid. Mm -hmm. Yes. With this? Yes. Mm. Oh wow. So it is very like Vietnamese. Yeah, it's kind of like mm. the, the, you know, the Brazilian pho. Mmm. So it's, um, my mouth is so tingling that I can't taste a lot of the stuff. It's called Tukupi. Tukupi. Mmm. But it makes your tongue tickle, right? Everything. It feels almost like the Szechuan pepper. Just numbing sensation. That gummy. Mmm. Oh yeah. So next time we're trying the Serpa, Serpa Export. 
Oh wow, very nice and refreshing lager. Hey, it's different. It's a little crafty. Mm. With this heat outside, this is a must. This is fire, but you guys say a tingling sensation. Hard to get used to. Oh, and we have some chili. So if I want to, put chili right there, put it on top like that, then get it. Picante. Mm -hmm. But good. I like it. Wow. So different. What a unique dish. And this comes from Para State, right? Para State. So that's the Amazon. That's literally the state right next door to Amazonias, right? That's good, but you gotta slow down because the noise sensation is pretty intense. <laughs> One of my favorite snacks. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> very hot. Yeah, very different. And this is like a, I guess it's like a diner, right? So you have the bar area, and that's it. Just stools, people sitting outside, people sitting here next to me. In the back, the guys are making acai bowls, they have cachaça, they have beer, and they have this delicious, mmm, muy picante. Apimentado. Obrigado. Obrigado. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. One more stop. One more stop before the airport. From Takaka, we're now he heading to have Acarajé. So from Parai State to Bahia State. Let's go. This is Atejo de Flamengo, which is the main street here in the area of Flamengo. So that is, I guess it'd be like more north from where we were staying, which is Botafogo. And that is more north from Copacabana, right? Yes. So this is going up, up, right? They have a beach here. They have this super long street. It's almost like a highway in terms of how big it is. Four lanes, four lanes. And yeah, can we try this croqueta? We made it. We are here like at a flea market. And this is the vendor sign, delicious croquetas. Bon tarde, bon tarde. Bon dia. Bon tarde, bon tarde. Tudo bem? Camisa feia essa. Camisa feia. Camisa bela, não? Linda. He has the best acarajé in Rio de Janeiro. Yeah. The best, number one. Ele vai para o Porta Aguas. Já está indo embora ele? É, isso aí é batapá. É. Que não. Pão francês, leite de coconut, coconut milk, salad, canela e pinto gaio, e now shrimp. Obrigado. <laughs> De nada. <laughs> yeah, it's like shrimp, okra, okra paste, uh, coconut milk with, yeah, like French bread. Coconut milk, shrimp, onions, nuts. All right, this is it. Acarajé. Oh, how do you even do this? Just Dive do in. a big bite. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's so delicious. Oh, wow. I love the shrimp. A little spicy. Fried on the outside, mush on the inside. Love this. I've never had a croqueta like burger before. Kind of like a burger, huh? Mm -hmm. I'll say it, my favorite snack today. For sure. Mm -hmm. So filling. Look at this. It's the croqueta. He stuffed it, right? With all these different. <laughs> ingredients. Yeah, there's o o o okra paste. So okra paste, sorry. Okra paste. Shrimp, nuts, wow. cilantro. So good. Mm. Yeah, this uh, snack has some huge African and Indian influence. So, there's a 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Oh, number one. Yeah, number one. Number one. Muito bom, não? Muito obrigado. Obrigado você. Delicioso. It's so style. Look, style. 
<laughs> like like Indians. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Ciao. Bye, ciao. By the way, it costs 10. So 10. 250. 250? No, no, no. 10. 10. $2. $2, yeah. So 10 reais. Airport? Yes. So good, huh? Yeah. Delicious. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this non stop diverse food tour here in Rio de Janeiro. It was epic. Fejuada, acai, dakaka, da 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 and carajé. then carajea. And that is all the different like styles of food of Brazil. You know, Brazil is super diverse, 27 different states. Yes. Obviously, in the north, it's more jungle, more Amazon. So each one was from a different place. So where is uh, Feijoada from? Yeah, Feijoada represents like Minas Gerais in Rio de Janeiro state, and then Takaká, Pará state, uh, Açaí, the Amazon in general, and then Acarajé from Bahia. Awesome. Yeah, so that's one of the cool things about Brazil, very diverse, uh, lots of culture, lots of different foods. And that's it, my friends, 72 hours in Rio. It is an incredible city. I fell in love with it. It is a must visit. Add it to your bucket list. And guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel, and obrigado. Mm -hmm.